going to have to move up here. You know, we're going to have to sit down. You're going to have to move up. How about if you go over here, Gene? Gene, how about over here? Would that help? That's the problem. I don't know if the power is going to reach. Better? Okay. State Farm Insurance asks, what if you're walking out to your car and it's been mashed by a runaway garbage truck? Having a State Farm agent means having a real person to help you when things go wrong. So when accidents happen, you've got someone you know who will be there when you need them. In Hammond, Scott Angel at 6935 Calumet Avenue. Call Scott at 803-0669. And in Griffith, John Burris, CPCU at 437 North Broad Street. Call John at 934-9631. John A. Barato Center on the campus of East Chicago Central High School. RRSN.com in conjunction with Regional Radio Sports presents the 2016 Class 4A Sectional 1 quarterfinal. Where this evening, in the second game of our doubleheader, it'll be the East Chicago Central Cardinals taking on the Munster Mustangs. Good evening, everybody. Mike Knezovich, along with Chris Adzia, Gene Miller will be capturing all the sights and sounds out here this evening in this matchup between the Cardinals and the Mustangs. The East Chicago Central Cardinals coming in with a record of 15 and 5. The Munster Mustangs checking in with a mark of 10 and 13. 
I want to thank all of our season sponsors of our award-winning and positive promotion and coverage of student-athletes on Regional Radio Sports, LLC. And they include State Farm Insurance, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Also by ArcelorMittal, guiding the evolution of steel, creating opportunities in the industry to redefine excellence and transform tomorrow. Also by Scapel Buick GMC, located at 3209 West Lincoln Highway on Route 30 in Maryville. By Centier Bank, independently owned and operated, serving 44 locations in Lake Porter, LaPorte, and Marshall Counties. By the United States Marine Corps, the few, the proud, the Marines. If you think you have what it takes, call 1-800-MARINES or log on to marines.com. By Albert's Diamond Jewelers of Cherville, Indiana, in business for over 100 years, and they simply have the largest selection of brilliant diamonds in the Midwest. By Teachers Credit Union, TCU provides many products and services that can help keep your finances on track. Visit them online at tcunet.com. By Levin Tire, with seven convenient Northwest Indiana locations, Levin Tire, earning your trust one day at a time since 1918. By Schwartz, Retson & Company, PC, an accounting firm located on East 86th Avenue in Maryville. By Horizon Bank. Did you know that Horizon Bank is a top 200 community bank as rated by U.S. Banker? Horizon Bank, exceptional service and sensible advice. By Christensen Chevrolet on 45th and Indianapolis Boulevard in Highland. Tech Federal Credit Union for a great rate and convenient terms on a vehicle, home, personal, and business loan. It's Tech Federal Credit Union. We also want to thank our corporate partner of East Chicago Central Cardinals Basketball for tonight's sectional one quarterfinal, and that's the Foundations of East Chicago, making a difference in people's lives by believing in trust, accountability, honesty, integrity, and responsible stewardship at foundations-e-c.org. Today's game is also brought to you by Fife Funeral Home on Indianapolis Boulevard in East Chicago, family-owned and operated since 1898 by attorney Lonnie Randolph on Columbus Drive in East Chicago. Also by Calumet College of St. Joseph's, your university of choice for degrees in forensic science, restoration ecology, exercise and sports sciences, and pre-professional life science, and they're on the web at www.ccsj.edu. By Automasters, an ASC certified repair shop on Calumet Avenue in Hammond, Auto Masters were right in your neighborhood. And finally, we want to thank the great folks over at Ogren Insurance for their terrific support of the Munster Mustangs. We want to thank them for hopping on board with us for today's broadcast. Ogren Insurance offering all kinds of lines of insurance located at 6929 Holman Avenue in Hammond. And you can look them up on the web at Ogren Insurance. Com. And I bring in my broadcast partner, Chris Adzia. 540 remaining here in game number one. Chris, a 41-34 to lead for the Highland Trojans over a very young and upstart uh, Gary Westside Cougar team here in the first game of our doubleheader. Well, both of these teams are very young. Highland starts two freshmen and two sophomore. Uh, you know, you look for them to be pretty good in a couple of years. There's some talented kids out here. My first look at Highland this year, and uh, uh, certainly there's a, a lot of things ahead in their future. That was a nice three-point play there by Zach Petritus, the 6'4 senior for head coach Jordan Heckard and the Trojans. Uh, the leading scorers for the Highland Trojans, Isaac Sisma, a freshman at 9.5 a ball game. Nicholas Thompson, a 6'2 sophomore at 7.9 and six rebounds. And Tyler Scheidt, their 6'5 freshman. So, as you mentioned, Chris, a lot of, a lot of youth with the uh, with the blue and yellow gold, and certainly the future looks bright. Yeah, fr- uh, Isaac Seatsma, the 5'7 freshman guard, has eight points uh, tonight. And uh, Westside's led in scoring right now by uh, Tiante Mitchell. He has 14 points in this evening's game. And uh, Westside right now up by five with 5'18 remaining. Again, we want to thank our corporate partner for all of their sponsorship throughout the season here, and that's the Foundations of East Chicago. Today's uh, broadcast of Cardinals basketball is brought to us by the Foundations of East Chicago, where they're on the court or in the community. The Foundations of East Chicago is committed to improving the quality of life for all East Chicago residents. We demonstrate the commitment through our scholarship programs, through financial support of local institutions like food pantries and churches, and by providing leadership and advice to help make our community the best that it can be. For more information, please visit our website, www.foundations-e-c.org. You can also follow them on Facebook and Twitter at Foundations 
dash EC and uh, West Side right now certainly isn't going anywhere Chris as they get a yeah. three pointer to get it back to a two possession yeah, ball Townsend. game. Townsend now he's in double digits now with that at least 11 uh, having a nice ball game here for the West Side Cougars. Well the uh, first opening round games are in the books and of course the huge shocker over there in the Hub City kind of stirred the pot up pretty good as Valparaiso knocked off Maryville. Yeah overtime game the number two team in the state uh, goes down in night one of the sectional. Some will argue that that's the flaw with the Indiana uh, tournament, the way it's set up, where you don't, it's not seeded. Uh, everybody gets in, and, you know, sometimes that's what happens. Uh, but, you know, everybody has an opportunity. It makes it great as well at the same time. Valparaiso avenging a, a two point loss earlier in the season over at Englehart. Had a chance to talk to our good friend Michael Zidanowitz today quite a bit on the phone about that game, and he was saying that basically it was a team that uh, decided not to make the last mistake that was yeah. going to win that game. It was just all kinds of opportunities for each team to seal that deal, and they just couldn't get it done. Now you look at a great season by the Maryville Pirates and Coach T.J. Lux. Only two losses, one regular season loss, one tournament loss, both in the Hub City on Crown Point's floor. <laughs> they may want to stay away from uh, <laughs> Route 231 over there in Indiana Avenue. Speaking of Crown Point at halftime, they have a two-point lead against Michigan City, 24-22. to I tell you what, the Wolves have had their number for the last five years. Yes, yeah, it's just a tough matchup, it seems, for Crown Point. And uh, I want to say Crown Point's about three and nine or so in the last several, several years. So, you know, Clint Swan wasn't, you know, real excited when the draw came out and saw that he's playing <laughs> Michigan City. Tech a lot, credit lot different team on their home court. Excuse me, Mike. Tech Credit Union can help you get the cash you need for home improvements, education costs, travel, or any other purpose. Unlock your home's equity with a home equity loan featuring a 3.99 annual percentage rate, seven-year repayment term, and no closing cost. Best of all, with a fixed rate, your monthly payments won't change during your loan term. To learn more, visit techcu.org, contact any branch, or call them at 800-276-TECH. That's 800-276-8324. Tech Credit Union is an equal opportunity lender and is federally insured by the National Credit Union Administration. Rates may change without notice as Highland gets a nice three-pointer yeah, from the outside. Joshua Gunderson just nailed a three to make it a five-point game once again, 46-41. Joshua Gunderson now in double digits as well. The winner of this game will advance to the sectional semifinal over here on Friday evening, and they will take on the Lowell Red Devils in the semifinal, Chris. Lowell with a nice win over Lake Central in the quarterfinal last night. You know, this, uh, you know look at this sectional, and, and all year long it kind of looked like it was East Chicago sectional to lose, and then all of a sudden Lowell with a huge win over East Chicago, down at Lowell late in the season. And, uh, you know, now it, now it seems to be up for grabs a little bit. Lowell was uh, threatened a little bit by Lake Central last night, but they were able to hold on for double-digit victory. We saw that Lowell team, of course, play against uh, Crown Point over at the pit. And a team that uh, kind of lives and dies by the three, they really don't have a real strong inside presence, Chris, and certainly... Uh, they will go how their shooters go. It's a team that likes to play fast. They like to get a lot of possessions. They like to put the ball up quickly, and uh, certainly it wasn't their night. They were working on an undefeated season there at home, and uh, Crown Point was able to uh, get up early on them in the, in the second quarter by a few points and then take control of the game in the third quarter. So here it's 46-41 to 41 in favor of the Highland Trojans with 3:04 remaining. Both teams right now have 17 fouls, so any foul will result in one and the bonus for either one of these squads. 3.04 remaining in the game as West Side now will trigger into the backcourt. Jarris Smith now will go with that little bit of a screen up high by Tiante Mitchell. Now they go with the weave to Jeffrey Townsend, who nice him with a little finger roll, couldn't get it to go. Offensive rebound is Corral, but then lost out of bounds by Tim Harris. Harris, a tall drink of water at 6'7", needs to fill out that frame a little bit. He's only a junior, and now Ian Faulkner, a 6'4", junior, comes off the bench for Coach Bucks. Highland up by five with the basketball, but now they turn it over, but then both teams end up turning the basketball over as uh, Westside ran out of real estate here on the near sideline. You know, through uh, three quarters, Highland turned the ball over 17 times, Mike, and 
Westside opened up this game in a zone, Crown Point, or a little bit of a zone in the first quarter. And Highland went on a 10-point run to start the game. It was 10-0. And then uh, Westside was able to make a run to get back into it. It was 24-24 at halftime. Well, Jalen Hughes has the sneakers going out there. Millie. He's got the flashy, uh, I guess you call those lime or... <laughs> Maybe some shade of green somehow. A chartreuse maybe? They, they, they match know. the blue and orange of the Cougars uh, nicely, don't they? 46-41 <laughs> Trojans. They got a screen set up. Far side shot on the play is no good by Josh Gunderson. And now the Cougars will bring it back up and set the offense with Mitchell back between the rings to Jeff Townsend. Key possession here for the Cougars in a two-possession game. Townsend looking for a screen up high by Faulkner. Now they go between the rings to Mitchell. Deontay's flash pass is stolen. And then a reach-in foul called. Crucial turnover on the Cougars. Highland was 7 of 10 uh, on their first 10 free throw attempts this ball game. Yeah, as you said, Mike, both teams in the bonus. So that'll send Highland to the free throw line for some key late free throws. This Cardinals basketball broadcast after this game is brought to you in part by the Foundations of East Chicago. It's an organization dedicated to supporting our community on and off the court through our academic scholarship programs, our grant programs for local charitable institutions and leadership. We here at the Foundations of East Chicago pour our hearts into making a positive impact on our community. For more information, please visit our website, www.foundations-e-c.org. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter at foundations-e-c. West side with new life after the miss on the free throw by the Trojans. Now good defense on the far side, but getting past on the play was Hughes. West side down by five with the basketball. A buck 43 remaining in regulation. Oh, they're up by five. Check that. Cougars trying to pick up their third win of the season, and now Highland comes up with the steal. So I'll bring it over the midcourt stripe right now. Drive right to the rack. Shot is blocked on the play. Good defense by Harris. Cougars trying to get their first victory of the season against somebody that's not named Lighthouse CPA. <laughs> it's been a, a rough season for this young Cougar ball club. Jordan Cannon, a 5'5 senior, now comes in at guard. And he'll replace Jerry Smith for the Cougars. So Highland with the basketball down by five. Gunderson to inbound. He'll go back to the top of the key. Good pass there by Sisma. Right side free throw line extended to Branken. Back out high. Good defense by the Cougars. Taking a lot of time off the clock right now. Highland trying to get a two or a three. And they go to the rack. They miss the bunny on the play. And the rebound comes off nicely there to Timothy Harris. Yeah, Gunderson would like that opportunity back. That was a point blank shot at the basket. One minute, one minute remaining in the game, and Chris Bugs and the Cougars here feeling a potential here for their third victory of the season. Dribbling out high with the ball is Townsend, and now a timeout called by Chris Bugs. That was a pretty good timeout there, Chris, because it looked like they were starting a five-second count. Great timeout. Up five, under one minute remaining with 48.7, and uh, you got to feel good about yourself right now if you're wearing a Cougar uniform. You haven't been in this situation very often this year up with under a minute to go. Meanwhile, Jordan Heckard will get the Highland Trojans around him to uh, do some counseling right now and see if they can come up with a defensive stop here and uh, possibly get something going on the offensive end of things. Looking forward to game number two, Chris, this uh, East Chicago team coming in at 15-5, and five, and uh, they will be going up against a depleted Munster team out here today. Uh, both through injury as well as illness. Yeah, there's no doubt. And it wouldn't be sectional one without Munster and, and East Chicago locking horns here. They've played each other four times in the last seven years. And uh, uh, certainly, as you said, Munster's going to be a little bit shorthanded with uh, Luke Hackett out of the lineup. Their leading scorer at nearly 18 points a ball game and five rebounds out of the lineup ill. And Noah Lewis, a 6'9 freshman, will miss the game with an ankle injury. So Jordan Cannon, a 5'5 senior, We'll go to the line here for Chris Bugs, and he will try to make this a three-possession ball game. Timothy Harris, 6'7", and a junior, will come back in now for Coach Bugs, and taking a seat will be Desmond, or check that, Javon Carson, Jaywan Carson, a 6'1", junior. So two big free throws here for the 5'5", senior. 
Jer Smith getting set to come back in. And the front end is missed. Great offensive rebound there by Harris. And Coach Bug says bring it back out. 40 seconds remaining now. Highland's got to put them to the free throw line here. West side just playing keep away and finally a reach around foul call. Uh, Highland went to the double team that time. It's really hard uh, to get a foul because you're constantly leaving somebody open in that situation. You want to stay matched up uh, uh, man to man so you can foul quickly. So once again heading to the line this time will be Jalen Hughes, a 5'10 sophomore. And again, a crucial one and the bonus. The next foul on Highland will be double bonus land for the Cougars. Line drive shot, and he's able to put it in. Coach Hecker was looking for some kind of a lane violation there on the Cougars. The Highland came in with only five victories on the year, Mike. And, you know, you look at this ball club. Jordan Heckard's done some nice things here in preparation for the quickness uh, against the Cougars. As I said, got out to that 10-0 run. They were looking strong early in this ballgame. 48-41 right now, a three-possession game with 35 ticks of the clock remaining. Now left side, top of the key on the play at Sisma, and a reach-in foul called on the Cougars, and the last thing you wanted to yeah. do there was put Stop Highland the on the foul line. Chance to score with uh, the, the clock stopped. That foul was on Jarius Smith. It was a loose ball, and he's going after a loose ball. Tough break that time for the Cougars. So heading to the charity stripe, Josh Gunderson, 59% free throw shooter. He nails the first one to cut the lead to 48-42. Meanwhile, Jaywan Carson comes in for Westside, Tyler Scheidt for the Trojans. Both coaches continue to make offensive and defensive substitutions at this juncture of the ball game. So this will try to cut it down to a two and a three. And he does so. Nice job by Gunderson, averaging six points a game and leading the team in assists with two a ball game. Ooh, they almost got a travel there on a double team. That's what Jordan Hecker was looking for, but he's not going to get it. Yeah, nice quick trap that time by, uh, uh, by Gunderson and freshman Tyler Scheidt. So now we do have the pressure uh, taken off on the front end of the bonus here for the Cougars. Stay tuned immediately following this one. We'll have pregame coverage. We had a chance to sit down with Mike Hackett, the head coach of the Munster Mustangs, and talk about the up-and-down season they've had. Coach, of course, very proud of Son Luke. Although he's not going to play out here today, he's going to be attending St. Xavier University in the southwest side of Chicago. Certainly a nice honor for him as he continues his basketball career. It's a university that spends an awful lot of time in the top ten in the NAI. NAIA national poll. 50 to 43 in favor of Westside. Highland brings it down. They get it into the corner. Three point shot is up in and out on the play by Sisma. Now with 16 seconds remaining, the Cougars get the basketball, and that could be the last breath for the Highland Trojans as the folks from the Steel City to our immediate right get up on their feet right now and cheer their team for only the third time this season on the winning end of things. The start of the fourth quarter in the Hub City. Crown Point opened up the lead a little bit on Michigan City. They lead the Wolves 43-36. to Boy, that's uncharted territory for them late in the ball game. Usually those games against Michigan City are nail biters. We'll keep an eye on that one. We've also got uh, scoreboard updates coming in from all across the state of Indiana this evening. 50 to 43 Cougars. And one more free throw here goes off for Hughes. The rebound to the Trojans with 10 ticks of the clock remaining. Sisma will bring it up off the right side with six. Three pointer is up and no good. Rebound on the offensive end by Gunderson. Rejected on the play nicely by Townsend. And the Gary Westside Cougars and head coach Chris Buggs coming in with a very young ball club with only four seniors on the tournament roster and they are able to come up with the victory out here this evening over the Highland Trojans by a score of 50 to 43. So Gary Westside with the win improves to three and 20 and the Highland Trojans will bow the tournament with a mark of five and 18. We'll go ahead and take a two minute timeout. We'll come back and we'll begin our pregame coverage 
of East Chicago Central Cardinals and Munster Mustangs. Class 4A quarterfinal action. You are watching and listening to live action here in the IHSAA Tournament Series. Award-winning coverage here on Regional Radio Sports Network. Your ticket to the best seat in the house since 1992. State Farm Insurance asks, if you're feeling stuck in a state of compensation stagnation, you know, another year with no raise, then let State Farm help you get to a better state with a discount double check that can stretch your hard-earned dollars a little farther. They'll go through your car insurance to make sure you're getting all the discounts you deserve. Discounts could add up to 40% to put a few hundred extra dollars in your pocket. Discounts may vary state to state. In Dyer, Joe Lavasco, 1107 Sheffield Avenue, call Joe at 865-6660. In Valparaiso, Greg Taylor, 390 West U.S. Highway 6. Call Greg at 762-4911. And in Hobart, Danny Detola, 8792 East Ridge Road. Phone Danny at 963-4444. Get to a better state with State Farm. Like a good neighbor. a new career at a cutting-edge, exciting, and globally competitive company? Enroll in Steelworker for the Future, a two-and-a-half-year associate degree program offered at select community colleges, and you'll be prepared for a high-paying career at ArcelorMittal, the world's leading steel company. Graduates may be hired as maintenance technicians, earning an average of $90,000 per year, plus benefits. Your future with a leader in steel starts now. Visit steelworkerforthefuture.com today. TCU Visa Platinum Credit Card that can help you take charge of those long-awaited projects or cover unexpected emergency needs. It not only comes with a low rate, but offers everything you need, including no annual fees, no balance transfer fees, easy cash advances at ATMs, and much more. Don't miss out on a good play. Take charge of those projects and score big with the low rate TCU Visa Platinum Credit Card. Learn more and apply today at tcunet.com slash credit cards. Camp is the real thing now. You've never done anything so hard in your life. You don't understand how you can finish. It takes inner strength and desire to become a Marine. When I, I finished, I was like, I did it. The moment I will never forget is when this drill instructor that I admire so much comes up to me and said, Good morning, Marine. BFC Summer Volkman became a Marine. Can you? Visit Marines.com or call 1 800 Marines. Mike Knezovich, Chris Adzia, back with you here at the John A. Barato Center on the campus of East Chicago Central High School as we get set for this matchup here between East Chicago Central Cardinals and the Munster Mustangs. And, Chris, these teams are certainly no strangers to each other meeting earlier in the season in a barn burner over at the Fieldhouse in Munster. Yeah, it surprised a lot of people as well as the game went into overtime uh, over at Munster eventually. It was a win for the Cardinals, a 77-73 win. That was way back uh, on December 11th, and you didn't really know what this East Chicago ball club was at that point. You knew they had a couple talented players. They had a new coach and Coach Turkovich playing, you know, uh, you know, for him for the, uh, for the first time. And, you know, they, they, they've really, you know, had a great year at 15-5, and five, but they've had some ups and downs. I think you could probably make the argument that at times they've played to the level of the competition. Uh, West Side, you know, with two victories until this third one right now, played East Chicago pretty tough as well. And then East Chicago's played some tough schools as well and played great against them. So, you know, you, from game to game, you're really not quite sure what you're going to get out of East Chicago. But rest assured, they're facing Munster in the postseason. They're going to be ready to play today. They certainly will be. And uh, 4A has really been wide open this season, Chris. So we've seen uh, a lot of upsets, especially downstate in Marion County. Uh, but the cream kind of rose to the top in the opening round down there in Indianapolis. Yeah, uh, Lawrence Central was able to win a big ball game against Indianapolis Tech on Indianapolis Tech's home court. And uh, Southport 
uh, had a tough ball game Sorry. as Sorry. well in Section 11. They took on Pike. That's two state-ranked teams, and Southport was able to, to hold on to that one. But you talk about things being wide open and teams knocking each other off. Southport opened the year number one in the preseason poll, uh, lost early against Merrillville, and, uh, you know, they finished the season at rank number 10. But there's been a lot of movement within the polls with those Marion County teams with the Lawrence Norths and the Lawrence Centrals. North Centrals had a great year. Uh, New Albany uh, is number one in the final 4A poll, but uh, certainly wide open. Yeah, really, um, this has been the year of really no dominant team. A lot of teams with four, five, and six losses in that top 20 over there. And I think a lot of that, too, has to do with the fact that uh, – a lot of the conferences kind of opened up a little bit, especially the Doolin Conference, of course, with our teams over here, and giving an opportunity for the fans to see a lot more games between teams up here and down in the Indianapolis area. With the Doolin Conference specifically, since they don't play the double round robin any, any longer, it's been really nice to, to see a lot of the Doolin teams really extend their schedule and get down south a number of times and play in some of the shootouts and the tournaments that you see around Marion County. Calumet College of St. Joseph is your university of choice for academics and athletics. The 2016 basketball, men's volleyball, and wrestling seasons are currently in action. Also in 2016, the men's bowling program is ranked number three in the nation. Crimson Wave Athletics supports over 330 student athletes who combine for a department GPA greater than a 3.0 cumulative. For more information about your future potential and upcoming spring enrollment, Go to ccsj.edu. Chris, let's take a look at the action across northwest Indiana and especially in 4A across the state. Well, a little lighter uh, action uh, to tonight on Wednesday night compared to Tuesday night here in northwest Indiana, obviously here at East Chicago Sectional 1. Uh, Highland just fell to Westside. Westside improved to 3-20 and 20 now on the year, and obviously it'll be Munster and East Chicago here in game number two. Over at Crown Point, Crown Point had a seven-point lead heading into the fourth quarter against Michigan City. And the nightcap over in sectional two in the Hub City will be a 15-8 and eight Chesterton team taking on a 12-11 and 11 Hobart Bricky Ball Club. Down in 3A, or excuse me, in 4A, sectional three over at Plymouth. It's South Bend Clay at 8-15 against the host uh, Plymouth at 14-8. and eight. Number 14 ranked South Bend, Washington at 16 and 5 in the nightcap will take on yeah. South Bend Adams. Again in 4A over at Elkhart in sectional 4. It's Elkhart Memorial against Goshen. Memorial comes in at uh, 5 and 17. Goshen sub 500 as well at 9 and 13. In game 2 over at Elkhart, it'll be the Concord Minutemen at 6 and 16 against our Elkhart Central at 14 and 7. Over at sectional 33, Boone Grove 2A. The Roosevelt Panthers at 6 and 15 will take on the number 10 ranked Eagles from Bowman Academy at 14 and 8. And in the nightcap, it's Bishop Knoll ranked number 9 and 2A at 15 and 7 will take on a rival school, the Oilers from Whiting at 10 and 12. Also in 2A at sectional 34 at Knox, North Judson, a one win North Judson San Pierre team will take on the Hawks from Hebron at 9 and 12 and then the favorite in that particular sectional Marquette Catholic at number 8 in the state in 2A at 16 and 8 will take on a a, a good Winnemac team yeah. that comes in at 15 and 7. It's going to be interesting to see how the Blazers react to the uh, move up in classification there Chris certainly they had to rule the roost in 1A and uh, we saw uh, we've seen some teams that have thrived coming up in uh, classification. We've seen some other teams that have been one and done. Yeah, you look at uh, teams that were not affected. Teams like uh, uh, Bar Reeve down south made the jump uh, to two A. They finished the season at n rank number one in that particular poll. And you know it's really going to be a nice battle. You look at that two A regional, and you look at Northwest Indiana teams. You could make an argument that Bowman Academy will be there or Bishop Knoll coming out of the Boone Grove sectional, the Knox sectional. Obviously, Marquette Catholic is the favorite. Whatever team comes out of those two Northwest Indiana sectionals will most likely be the favorite to win that North Judson regional. Attorney Lonnie Randolph supports his community by sponsoring a portion of East Chicago Central Cardinals basketball and regional radio sports and RRSN.com. 
Attorney Randolph specializes in trial, criminal, civil, personal injury, and property issues. His law office is located at 1919 East Columbus Drive in East Chicago. For more information and to schedule an appointment, give Lonnie a call today, 219-397-5531. Chris, let's take a look at the thumbnail sketch of the Munster Mustangs. Uh, 10 and 13 on the season. Certainly not at the level that they're accustomed to being at this time of year. Uh, it all starts with Coach Mike Hackett. He's in his 16th year with the Mustangs. 300 victories, 85 losses. He's always been one of the top coaches and led the state uh, for the last couple years with an 82-83% winning percentage. You know, they've taken, they've, they had their struggles this year. They've won five sectionals in the last seven years, Mike, and, uh, you know, you look at their success in the postseason in seven years, in the last seven years, they've played 19 sectional games. The Mustangs are 17-2, and 4-0 against the East Chicago sectional, uh, Central Cardinals. Welcome back here to the Barado Center on RRSN.com and Regional Radio Sports. Mike Hackett, the head coach of the Munster Mustangs, is going to join us. And, Coach, uh, certainly a lot of challenges for this uh, group of kids in the 2015 and 16 season. And uh, there's been some ups and some downs during the campaign. Uh, how do you feel that the kids have handled the adversity, um, both uh, the upperclassmen as well as some of the younger kids that have gotten their first taste of varsity action this year? Well, it's definitely been a journey, uh, but, you know, the kids are still working hard. They're putting in the effort. Uh, you know, I have no complaints there. Uh, you know, just, just a couple weeks ago, we we were in a nice situation. We beat Griffith. Uh, our record got to be about at 500. We were like 10 and 10, and we had a chance to uh, share the title of our conference with Lowell and Griffith. It would have been a great accomplishment for us. But really, since the Griffith game, we really haven't played much. We've had some injuries. We've had some illness. Uh, and flat out, we just hadn't played very well. So uh, we, we put ourselves in position to accomplish something, but then uh, we just couldn't finish it. And, um, you know, now we're going to go play East Chicago, a really good East Chicago team on their home floor and sectional. So we'll give it, a, we'll give it all we got. Coach, uh, just picked up your 300th career win in your 16th season over at Munster High School and certainly joining a very elite uh, group of coaches with that particular accomplishment. Uh, how have you been able to continue that uh, success uh, throughout the years at Munster and uh, continue it on a steady pace throughout the years? been really fortunate. I've had a lot of really, really good players, had a lot of really good help and assistant coaches all the way up from you know, AAU programs through my middle school programs and then my, my uh, varsity assistant coaches and so forth. So, you know, this is, it, I didn't get to 300 by myself. I, I've had a lot of help. And really the main thing is I've been fortunate to have uh, really good players that are smart and skilled and willing to listen and uh, play as a team. Coach, uh, because of the uh, the injuries and aforementioned illnesses as well, a couple student athletes have had an opportunity to get some playing time as freshmen. And, you know, how that goes, uh, there's growing pains in that situation. But Javon Morris, along with Nick Fies, have uh, been able to, to uh, step up and, and help you out and win some basketball games this year. Describe for us their maturation process during this first year and how you see them and their upside as they continue on in their high school career. Yeah, they both have a lot of potential. Um, uh, some of them kind of got forced into having to get playing time through injuries and illness and stuff like that. But uh, they both have handled it really well. They do have a lot of maturing to do, both physically and uh, mentally. Uh but they both have bright futures. We're looking forward to the next three years with those kids. We're visiting with Mike Hackett, the head coach of the Munster Mustangs, here on the pregame show on RRSN.com and Regional Radio Sports. And Coach Jake Stribiak continues to play steady basketball for you. The junior center has done a terrific job on the boards. Uh, how has he been able to pick up those uh, those offensive rebounds for you in key situations and keep the, uh, the ball alive for you on the offensive end? <laughs> Well, we don't shoot very well, so there's a lot of opportunity <laughs> offensive rebound. Jake's got a big body. He throws it around in there and does a nice job for us. 
Well, Coach, it's great you're keeping your sense of humor here as we're going to move on right now and take a look at the keys to the ball game. Uh, this, of course, a rematch of the game over at your place earlier in the season, a, a terrific ball game that went into overtime before the Cardinals were able to pull it out uh, on the road. Uh, as you take a look at their personnel, and of course, uh, your kids uh, certainly uh, coming in here are going to give their best effort out here tonight. Uh, what are going to be some of the keys for success for the Red and White? Well, like most games for us, if we take care of the basketball, which means limit our turnovers, and if we can uh, compete on the boards and not give up a whole lot of offensive rebounds, uh, those two things are going to really uh, be big keys for us. Mike Hackett, the head coach of the Munster Mustangs, joining us. Ogren Insurance Company offers all lines of insurance, including home, auto, business, health, and financial planning. They're located at 6929 Holman Avenue in Hammond, and they serve Northwest Indiana with insurance plans that best fit your needs since 1947. For more information, give them a call at 933-0076. That's 933-0076. Or visit them on the web at www.ogreninsurance.com. That's Ogren Insurance, excellent service and competitive prices, Chris. Centier is Indiana's lar- largest private family-owned bank since 1895. The Schrag family has built a legacy of success, not merely through business, but through philanthropy that extends throughout the communities it serves. As a family-owned bank, Centier stands firmly behind its not-for-sale promise, pledging to families, businesses, and communities of Indiana that it will continue to preserve independent hometown banking in Indiana for generations to come. Suntier Bank, member FDIC. Fight Funeral Home, located at 4201 Indianapolis Boulevard in East Chicago, has been family-owned and operated in northwest Indiana since 1898. They offer cremation and burial services, and they also provide for funeral prearrangement and insurance needs. The phone number for Fight Funeral Home in East Chicago is 219-398-3210. With winter already here, is it time for new tires? If so, stop by Levin Tire and Service Center to receive up to $160 in tire rebates and find out why they've been named the best tire shop and the best auto repair shop in the region for seven years in a row. Levin's also has a price match guarantee, so if you find a lower price somewhere else, they'll match it. Levin's has seven convenient locations in northwest Indiana. For more information, call one 800 475 5005 or visit www.levintirecenter.com for valuable money savings coupons. Levin Tire and Service Center, earning your trust one day at a time since 1918. Chris, let's flip it over on the other sideline now and take a look at the East Chicago Central Cardinals. They have certainly played a very competitive schedule throughout the campaign. Uh, You mentioned uh, on occasion this year they've kind of played to the competition, the level of their competition during the season, but certainly a team that when they're firing on all cylinders can put up a lot of points in a hurry on uh, you. you. just go back to January 2nd uh, when they played Lawrence, Lawrence Central. It's a highly ranked team all year long. They were able to beat Lawrence Central 76-74 to in overtime. They were able to beat a great Griffith team by three back on January 23rd, 67 to 64. So East Chicago can play with anybody in the state on any given night. There's no doubt about it. They're not very deep. Uh, They usually go about seven or eight. Of course, Devontae Jones has certainly given them some quality minutes off the bench along with Edwin Wilson with a a little bit of an offensive presence out there from the outside. But if they get in a little bit of foul trouble, they could be in trouble. You know, look at Charlie Cleveland their big body down low he's certainly not afraid to be physical it's going to be a a nice matchup to watch a physical matchup between him and Jake Stribeck two big wide bodies down low that like to play physical but when you talk about foul trouble certainly you got to look at Charlie Cleveland as a candidate that might pick up a, a couple early fouls but as you look throughout the course of the season East Chicago was playing a lot of kids off that bench early and coach Turkovich has really settled down to a to a smaller rotation, which coaches usually do. So the, the, the big question is who's going to be matched up on number 23 for the Stangs, and I certainly have a feeling that this is going to be defense by committee with a lot of weak side help. Yeah, it's going to take a team to stop Damian Jefferson tonight, and you know, you got to imagine one of the game plans that Coach Hackett will employ tonight is, you know, if East Chicago is going to beat us, and certainly East Chicago is the favorite on paper to beat Munster, 
but you have to have the mindset that somebody else is going to beat you. So if it takes two or three guys to stop Damian Jefferson, I don't know that you're going to fully ever stop him. He's just that good, averaging 26 points a ball game, eight rebounds and three assists on his way to New Mexico. I haven't seen a better athlete on the basketball floor in Northwest Indiana this year. Well, the problem for Munster is going to be Jermaine Kuznar because if they uh, really uh, – match up too much on DJ Jermaine will certainly make them pay with the tray he's got 30 of them this season he also leads the team in steals he's long and lengthy uses those arms to come up with thefts and then he gets uh, the transition offense going for the Cardinals Jermaine Kuznard is such a streaky scorer he scores in bunches but then he's going to have some dry spells as well and when you look at the stats for for East Chicago and see that he's only made three 30 three-point shots I could promise you I, I, it seems like I've seen all 30 of those because <laughs> we've seen him red hot here in the Barado Center. So certainly, <coughs> certainly he's always the X factor for Coach Turkovich because if Damian Jefferson and Jermaine Kuznard are both on fire like we saw them in the second half to come from a big deficit against Crown Point, nobody could stop them. Automaster supports their community by sponsoring a portion of today's game. They're located at 6817 Calumet Avenue in Hammond. They're an ASC certified repair shop specializing in electrical, computer, brakes, shock repair, and tune-ups. Automasters also does towing. For more information and to schedule an appointment, give Automasters a call at 931-2702. We're right in your neighborhood, Chris. This spot is sponsored by Swartz, Retson, and Company a certified public accounting firm serving both businesses and individuals in Northwest Indiana over the last 80 years. Located in Maryville, Swartz Retson has a staff of over 30 professionals, making it the largest CPA firm in Northwest Indiana. Swartz Retson specializes in audits, reviews, and compilations, tax planning and preparation, accounting services, business and personal financial planning, business valuations, and other requested engagements. Thanks for considering the professionals at Swartz Retson for your tax, accounting, and insurance needs. East Chicago Central back on the court right now going through their pregame warm-ups as we get set for uh, this particular matchup. East Chicago Central with a rich history of uh, tournament uh, action. Of course, Pete Turkovich a part of that back in 2007 with uh, Etwan Moore who now plays over at, uh, with the Chicago Bulls and had an opportunity to see them win that semi-state over there in Lafayette and all the joy that comes with that. And uh, Pete certainly has uh, tasted some success, not only at the high school level, but the collegiate level under head coach John Wooden. And he's also sniffed a little bit of the professional ranks as well. Yeah, he's had a really nice career in, in, in everything he's done in basketball. And, you know, you look at the tournament history for East Chicago, and this is a school that's only been in existence after the consolidation in 1987. They have 13 sectional wins, five regional championships in a, in a state championship. But it's been a long drought here in East Chicago. They haven't won a sectional since 2008. Interesting. That's, that's amazing when you really think about it. Seven years. And when you talked about that history, that's, your, that's one sectional title every two years. So that gives you an idea of how long the drought's been going on and probably why they decided to go a different direction this yeah, year. Yeah, it's, it's, it's an impatient fan fan base. It's a great fan base when things are going great. Probably the loudest fan base that, that I've heard over the years when uh, East Chicago has the ball club to put on the, the floor and, and to be successful. And certainly it's a fan base as well as a ball club that are looking for big things in this tournament run here in the 2015 tournament, 16 we'll, tournament. We'll go ahead and take a final two-minute timeout. We'll come back, and Dave Lang will uh, introduce our starting lineups tonight, and we'll have this great matchup here as a uh, rematch from uh, not only earlier this season for an overtime game, but, of course, the big upset that Munster had in the sectional last year here on the same court. Back with the opening tip-off after this timeout on RRSN.com and Regional Radio Sports. Uh, the things set on record now. So I got uh, the things. So I've got okay. the uh, A admin on. I got uh, the things set on record now. So I've got.
And we're going to keep it right here. We've got a uh, final score, Chris, from Crown Point. Yeah, from the Hub City Sectional 2, it was at Crown Point. Able to reverse an earlier loss to Michigan City. Crown Point won tonight 60-52 to on their home court. So an eight-point win for the Bulldogs. They will advance to take on the winner of Chesterton and Holbert. And uh, that ball game on Friday will be on WTMK. 88.5 FM, so WEFM is going to flip over, and they will be uh, covering that uh, Morgan Township sectional in Class 1A, and we had a chance to see a couple of exciting games with a full house uh, last night, Chris. Well, PCC sectional, uh, um, a single-A sectional, always an exciting time over there in Porter County. Fans come out, and, uh, you know, they're, they're happy to play each other. It's teams that are, that are uh, friends off the court. Big rivals on the court, always a good time to see. Let's send it to public address announcer Dave Lane with today's starting lineups. And now the starting lineups for the Mustangs of Munster High School. At one guard, number three, Peter Canellis. The other guard, number five, Connor Manis. At guard, number 10, Javon Morris. At forward, number 24, Nick Fees. And at forward, number 35, Jake Stribjack. The Mustangs are coached by head coach Mike Hackett. And now the non-starters for the East Chicago Central High School Cardinals. Number two, Jamar Adams. Number 11, Louis Williams. Number 20, Jason Corley. Number 21, Shimon Abram. And number 24, Edwin Wilson. Now the starting lineups for your East Chicago Central High School Cardinals. At one guard, number five, Jermaine Cousinar. At the other guard, number 10, Allian Stubbs. At one forward, number four, Charlie Cleveland. At the other four, number 32, Devontae Jones. And at the other four, number 23, Damian Jefferson. The Cardinals are coached by head coach Pete Turgovich Jr., assisted by Jim Argus, Judah Parks, and Pete Turgovich III. It's going to be kind of interesting, Chris, seeing East Chicago Central in their well, road home uniform, yeah. their home road uniforms yeah, here at home. I've always been a big believer that, you know, it's bad luck to <laughs> wear the red uniforms or the visiting uniforms on your home floor come sectional time if you happen to be the, the host. The good news for East Chicago, though, it's, it's, it's worse luck to have to do that in the championship game. We're only, in, uh, we're only on Wednesday here. <laughs> Well, right That's now, breaking they, it down right there for you, isn't it, Mike? They've got to they've got to <laughs> get by this Munster team. They're certainly going to be giving it full force. They're missing their leading scorer, Luke Hackett, averaging 18 points, five rebounds, and 82 percent from the free throw line. So uh, they're certainly going to have to do it with some other players in the prime time situation. It's a, it's a Munster team that already struggles to score at only 53 points a ball game. They shoot less than 43 percent from the field as a team take out 18 points and it's got to get done on the defensive end here tonight for the Mustangs Jefferson shoots from 17 Kuznard can't get the rebound Stribiak comes down with the pumpkin and quickly Munster will look to run they go off the left side long three pointer is up and good by Javon Morris Morris gets his tw 23rd tray of the season back the other way comes Stubbs and he got fouled the hoop the harm the foul and I think a chance for the old fashioned three point play here for the Cardinals basket is good so Stubbs came back quickly there and he got a chance to tie it up now a transition basketball Munster typically a good transition defensive team Munster shot it quickly and Munster's not afraid 
to play with a little bit of pace, but without their leading scorer here tonight, Luke Hackett, I thought uh, I was interested to see if they're going to slow it down or not. That first possession, certainly not. Stubbs uh, completes the old-fashioned three-point play, so we got our first tie of the ball game. So a, the new three-point play there from Morris, and then an old-fashioned three-point play from Allianz Stubbs. Half a minute gone in the ball game with the basketball up high as Fies. The freshman now over to Strubiak. Multiple sport athlete between the rings guarded by Cleveland. Left side they go. Connor Mattis with a runner in the lane a little bit too long. And the Cardinals control the glass with Devontae Jones. Kuznar now will have it on the right wing. Munster in man-to-man defense. They try to double down on Jermaine. He'll fire it from the wing no good. Strubiak the rebound off the air ball. And at only 5'11", Connor Mattis is the designee to, to draw the matchup to guard uh, Damian Jefferson here early, early going. One minute gone in the 3-3 tie. Canales now with the ball on the play over to Manis. Connor Manis, the quarterback of this offense who averages four assists a game. Now over to Stribiak now between the ring on the play to Nick Fies. Now back out to Jake. East Chicago man-to-man defensive pressure here in a tie ball game. Now they post up down low on the play. Connor Mattis got double teamed by his numerical counterpart, Kuznar. Good patience here by the Stains. Yeah, I thought we would see some of this from Munster tonight with the lack of scoring. Great patience right now. Not a lot of pressure being deployed on the defensive end by East Chicago this possession. Usually once in a while they'll double down and now a little shuffle step here on the near sideline by Javon Morris. Munster in uncharacteristic 15.1 turnovers a game this year. You look at three numbers for Munster that really stand out and seem to be uncharacteristic for their program, and that's one of them, 15 turnovers a ball game. And we mentioned the other two already. They only average 53 points a ball game, and they only shoot 42%. Devontae Jones, now they post up and double down on DJ. He took the paint off the rim on a little finger roll and the rebound down to the freshman Morris. Javon, flash pass down to Jake. Stribiak takes it over Cleveland, couldn't get it go. Got the offensive rebound and he scored. Well, there's that battle down low between Jake Stribiak and Charlie Cleveland. 51st offensive rebound of the season for the 6'5 junior. Stubbs is three, is gone. He tickles the twine and makes some pay with the tray. And we've got our first lead change. Stubbs with six points here in the early going. One point shy of his game average on the year so already. That's his 12th home run ball of the season in a 6'5 Cardinal lead. As now Manis gets the pass on the play from Canellis. Canellis a 5'7 junior. Now Connor gets the pass over to Canellis in the corner. Now to Stribiak. He'll pop it from eight feet over Cleveland. Too long. DJ the rebound. Cardinals look to run now. Little shake and bake move off the left side. Took it in and he drew the foul on Stribiak. And DJ will go to the line to shoot a pair. Find out why Scapel Buick GMC in Maryville has been named the dealer of the year the last five years. Get $10,000 off select 2015 Sierra 1500 series trucks and special lease offers on select Buick models for under $199 per month. Experience the Buick difference at Scapel Buick GMC, located at 3209 West Lincoln Highway, just two miles west of I-65 on US-30. For more information, call 219-769-6381 or go online at scapelbuickgmc.com. Jefferson splits the free throws. Monster comes down with the rebound. Cardinals shooting at 65% as a team. DJ leading the team at 75. 7-5 lead for the Cardinals. 4.55 remaining here in the first quarter of play. Skip pass off the far side to Fives. Got a half a step on Jones over to Stribiak. Passed up a wide open 8-foot shot. Long three-pointer by Fives. Nothing but the bottom of the net. Nick Fives, the freshman, rings the cash register in another lead change. Well, Munster playing with confidence here in the early going giving up size and quickness at every position, every matchup. Now Charlie Cleveland is going to get called on a travel. Great weak side defense by Munster forces the turnover. One turnover apiece now here, and Chicago is going to pick up full court. 12.4 turnovers average the ball game for the Cardinals, and now they're just going to clear out, and a couple number fives will go at now in the backcourt with Connor Manis and Jermaine Kuznar. Approaching the halfway part here, of quarter number one, and East Chicago Central Cardinals, the guess on the scoreboard up by one, pass goes down, low shot is up and no good. Good job by Canellis to get the offensive rebound, but they call a jump ball and it will stay 
with Munster. Canell is only a f at 5'7", found himself down low, trying to finish by the basket. So Munster is employing a series of, of back picks along that baseline. Correct me if I'm wrong, Chris, but I think they had the scores reversed on the scoreboard as far as what the uniforms are saying. Now this time a turnover on Munster. They got Munster up 8-7, to seven and they're wearing the home uniforms yep, today. You're absolutely right. We'll have to catch each other because I'm going to make that mistake. <laughs> <laughs> so now it's going to be Stubbs over to the right side to DJ. Jefferson now will bring it in. He'll pop it from 15 off the heel of the rim. No good. Devontae Jones with a nice offensive rebound and a reach-in foul, I believe. Going to be called on the baseline on Canellis, I think. Because he just touched out of bounds. Nope. So no, no, foul. no, no foul. Once again, Devontae Jones at only six feet does a phenomenal job on the offensive backboards. Averages nearly seven uh, rebounds a game. Stubbs misses the three. Cleveland got the offensive rebound, and he puts it back and scores. Charlie with his 42nd offensive rebound of the season. And our third change. lead change. Now the freshman, Lewis, takes DJ to school as he banks it in off the right side. Javon Morris. Now Stubbs, nice through the Munster defense. Devontae Jones back out to C-squared. Again, good overplay there. Nicely done by Connor Manis. Cleveland sets a screen for DJ. Took it in strong. He scored and he was fouled. Damian Jefferson to hoop, to harm, the foul. And a chance for the old-fashioned three-point play, Chris. Albert's Jewelers is Northwest Indiana and Chicagoland's oldest and most trusted jeweler. Trust our family to offer you the highest and best prices for your unwanted jewelry, gold and sil silver coins, watches and diamonds of all sizes. You'll be surprised how much it's worth at Albert's. We also buy gold and offer loans on jewelry up to $100,000. Albert's Jewelers has two locations to serve you at 711 Main Street in Sherrillville and South Lake Mall in Maryville. For more information, call the Maryville store at 219 769-1976 the shareable location at 219-322-2700 or visit our website at www.albertsjewelers.com DJ completed the 3 point play giving East Chicago a 12-10 to 10 lead with 2.53 remaining in the opening stands and now Stribiak flash pass goes down low and they turn it over as Manis lost control third turnover on the stage but then a great job by Canellis to come back and create the second miscue he takes it right up on Who's not, and he scored it. Peter Canellis with his first two points. Not much of a challenge that time by Kuznard. Now they want to pick up a foul, foul, but he picks one up on the offensive end by running over the defender. Third turnover now on East Chicago Central as Jay Squared losing his cool there a little bit in the front court. We've seen DJ get into foul trouble sporadically throughout the season. And East Chicago Central now with three team fouls. Munster with only one. Now the Stangs having some trouble. And Mike Hackett calls a timeout to bail out his backcourt. 2.29 remaining here in the first quarter of play. We're nodded at 12, Chris. Are you in the market for a new or used car or truck? And stop by Christensen Chevrolet in Highland during their giant model sales event. They currently have great deals on several 2015 Chevy models with $1,000 to $5,000 cash back along with 0% APR financing for 72 months and no payments for 90 days. Located at 9700 Indianapolis Boulevard, Christensen Chevrolet has been driving the American dream and proudly serving you since 1951. Their phone number is 888-999-9141, and the website is christianchevy.com. So we're nodded at 12 here with 229 remaining in the first quarter. Three team fouls on the Cardinals, only one so far on Munster, and this is really kind of the pace that the Stangs want to have here, Chris, to be able to hang around for the 32. Yeah, they're playing very confidently right now. You know they're going to be pretty decent on the defensive end, but they're shooting the ball pretty well on the offensive end here in the early going. East Chicago trying to turn them over with full court pressure as Connor Manis now are bringing up on the newly inserted Edwin Wilson off the bench here for East Chicago Central. He comes in averaging 3.4 off the pints. Left side now on the play to the freshman Javon Moore. Now Stribiak holding it up high. Left side of the line to Fives. Nick now will bring it on Jones. Now coming off the screen on the play was Mattis. Two minutes remaining here in quarter number one. 
Peter Canales now back out high on the plate to Connor Manis. Canellis coming in, averaging 3.4 a ball game. And right now, Munster just being very patient on the perimeter. Wilson doing a great job of coming out on Manis. Manis has hit 25 trays this year, so he's certainly a threat. He's going to try it from the corner there. Couldn't get it to go off the heel of the rim. And then Cleveland got fouled by Fies underneath the basket. That's the first miss from Munster, uh, Munster downtown. Now two of three from behind the stripe. Don't really think that's the shot you want after holding the ball for a minute. A little bit of a forced uh, three-pointer there in the corner. Christian Cruz, a 6'5 junior, will come in for Munster, averaging 5'6 a game. Coach Hackett does a great job of utilizing little delays in the game that gather his team around and impart instructions. Extra timeout, especially for his youngsters. Beautiful pass by Kuznar down low to Wilson. He couldn't get it to go. Connor Manis comes down with the pumpkin for Munster. Stolen by DJ. He's able to do the tight rock walk. No, he couldn't quite save it off the far sideline as the official there gets plenty of help from the folks in the crowd. They looked like a defensive back reading the quarterback's eyes that time. Shot out of a cannon. Great quickness, just didn't have enough room over there along the sidelines as both teams trade turnovers for a piece. Antoine Van Dyke, another one of the key performers in that upset for Munster in the sectional last year, a senior, comes into the lineup number 40. Now the ball on the court on the play. Cleveland just knocked Canellis into Porter County, no call. The ball goes out of bounds to the Stanks. Still tied at 12 with a buck 16 remaining. Here in the first quarter of play. So Connor Manis will inbound the basketball. Instead, he was looking for more on the right wing. Instead, he goes to the safety belt of Canellis. Wide open now as Cruz comes in on Cleveland. Couldn't get it to go, and they're going to call C squared with the offensive foul. Good job by Charlie Cleveland coming over on help. East Chicago started that possession 2-3. Once the ball came into the top, they switched to man-to-man. Had trouble matching up. It left Cruz wide open over there on the left wing. Drove to the basket, but Cleveland did a nice job rotating over. Luke Pillarella, a six-foot senior, averaging a point a ball game, will come in as they'll give Canellis a well-deserved break with a minute remaining in the stands and a tie game at 12. Cleveland now as they post up Jefferson down low, got a half a step on the defense and a blocking foul is going to be called on Manis for Munster. East Chicago tried to take advantage of the size mismatch that time. As we said, Connor Manis draws the assignment of Damian Jefferson. They got to they call the foul here first at the scorer's table. So Manis gets hit with his first personal. That's 16 fouls. Now on the Munster Mustangs, only one so far on East Chicago Central. Two officials come over, tell both coaches, both Connor Manis and Damian Jefferson have been warned for Tawny. Kuznard to trigger the inbounds pass. Now with less than a minute remaining in the first quarter and a 12-12 tie. Now DJ trying to beat the double team outside. Got a half a step on the freshman Moore. Over to Cleveland. A nice move to the rack. And he scores. Terrific quickness by the multiple sport athlete for the Cardinals. And he's got a chance for the old-fashioned three-point play. Well, set up by Jefferson's drive and kick. And, and I like East Chicago's approach to this ball game. They're not settling for the three-point shot early and often. They're really attacking the basket. Cruz gets hit with his second personal. Meanwhile, Charlie didn't get it to go, and now Wilson is going to get called with a foul over the back for the Cardinals. So a 14-12 Cardinal lead with 49 ticks of the clock remaining here in the first stanza. That's only the second team foul on the red, white, and blue here in the first quarter. Pissarella gets it inbounds on the play over to Connor Manis. He'll bring it up on Edwin Wilson as we'll approach about a half a minute remaining here in the opening stanza. Munster trailing it by two. It's been pretty tight all the way. Now backdoor cut inside. Rejected by Cleveland. DJ back the other way. Comes right in. Barrels into the offense. They're going to wave it off on the floor. Good call by the officials that happened on the high block. Well, I thought East Chicago was very fortunate that they didn't get a foul called on him down on this end. It was a great back cut and bounce pass by the Mustangs. And then East Chicago on the defensive backboards in transition turns it into a shot attempt quickly. 
Damian Jefferson going to the line. He'll shoot two. Munster already with eight team fouls here in the first half. And Jefferson missed the front end. Rebound cleared by Pillarella. DJ now an uncharacteristic two for four. 24 seconds remaining here in quarter number one. Pillarella with the basketball up high. Goes off the right side now to Connor Manis. Javon Morris is uh, setting up, trying to do a screen here on the near side. Ten seconds remaining in the quarter. Steal by Kuznar. Coast to coast for a one-handed tomahawk dunk. Fifth turnover on Munster. Two seconds remaining. Manis' is three is short. And that will complete the first quarter player at East Chicago Central to score. The Cardinals 16 and the Mustangs 12. We'll take a 60-second timeout and come back with the second quarter on RRSN.com and Regional Radio Sports. State Farm Insurance asks, what if your roommate, we'll call him Einstein, decides to microwave a metal mixing bowl full of cookie dough and sets your apartment on fire? State Farm has an agent for that. See your State Farm agent for auto, renters, frankly all kinds of insurance. Call them today. In Portage, see Andrea Harbin at 6504 U.S. Highway 6. Phone Andrea at 762-5114. In Valparaiso, Sherry Warnke at 201 Northland Drive. Call Sherry at 465-0848. In Valparaiso, Dave Ross at 450 Lincoln Way, Suite 210. Call Dave at 464-3581. And in Dyer, Connie Bernardi, 1072 Joliet, U.S. 30. Call Connie at 322 9959. Get to a better state with State Farm. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Mike Knesevich along with Chris Adzia back with you here at the John A. Barato Center on the campus of East Chicago Central. A 16 to 12 lead. Here at the end of the first quarter. Chris, let's go through the numbers here. Well, it looks this way for East Chicago. For East Chicago, Elion Stubbs leads the Cardinals with six points. Four points apiece from Charlie Cleveland and Damian Jefferson. Two points from Jermaine Kuznard on that thunderous dunk there late in the quarter. Five points for Javon Morris to lead the Mustangs. Three points from Nick F- uh, Fies. Two points apiece from Peter Canellis and Jake Stribiak. I think Coach Hackett is asking for that uh, little three-foot cushion there for his player to be able to get the ball in bounds. Fies gets the inbounds pass as he's back into the lineup along with Manis. The freshman Morris on the right wing is back in down low as Stribiak. And now we've got a tangle up and a holding foul going to be called on Cleveland who got the worst of that exchange. Once again, there's that battle down low. That's going to get more and more physical as this game wears on as long as the score stays close. A couple football players going at it there. Yes, sir. Jake is not going to back down from anybody in the Cardinal Red tonight. 7.48 remaining in the half. Munster with their biggest deficit at four. Manis now on the sideline. Got a half a step on JC. Back out now to Canellis. Man-to-man defense. Jamar Adams into the lineup now for the Cardinals. Good overplay by Wilson. And a steal almost by Kuznard. Is right now East Chicago Central's quickness bothering Munster in the half court. East Chicago always does a great job attacking the ball at times on the defensive end. You've seen it a couple times now from Kuznard and once from Damian Jefferson. They really like to overplay on the wings. Now Canales driving on Jamar Adams. Flash pass into Coop and to Stribiak. Nice bounce pass and a foul going to be called. And that might be number two now on Cleveland. Jamar Adams is calling for the foul down low, but he's not going to get it. Centier is Indiana's largest private-owned bank. Since 1895, the Schrag family has built a legacy of success, not merely through business but through philanthropy that extends throughout the communities it serves. As a family-owned bank, Centier stands firmly behind its not-for-sale promise, pledging to families, businesses, and communities of Indiana that will continue to preserve independent hometown banking in Indiana for generations to come. Centier Bank, member FDIC. Stribiak shoots the ball extremely well for a big man at 70%. And does a great job there to pick up points three and four. Adams quickly down to Kuznard. Fade away three off the mark. Jamar got the offensive rebound. Put it back up. He scored. And he was fouled. Jamar Adams coming off the bench and hitting the glass for Coach Turkovich. Three offensive rebounds in this ball game for the Cardinals now. 
Great way if you're a sub off the bench to get involved. Go get a loose ball. Go get a rebound. Get yourself involved in the ball game. Second personal foul going to be called there on Stribiak. Certainly Munster can ill afford to lose the big man to fouls down low. Jamar to complete the three-point play, and he does. So he's already exceeded his season average of 2.1. So that will take Stribiak out of the lineup, and Antoine Van Dyke, a 6'2 senior, back in for Coach Hackett. Big possession here for Munster. They're all down by five right now with the basketball, 7-11 remaining in the first half. Canales will bring it over the timeline. Peter now with the basketball on high. Backdoor cut on the plate of Fies. Goes off the right side to Van Dyke. Good recovery by East Chicago Central. But Canales gets it over to Fies in the open part of the defense, and he scored. I love the backdoor. Love the bounce pass as well on that backdoor. It's a couple times Munster's been able to get that done. Charlie Cleveland's fade away off the mark, and Connor Mannis with a good job. And now Munster slowing it down here, hanging around, hanging around, down by three. Long three-pointer for the tie is short. Jamar Adams comes down with the rebound for East Chicago Central. Now J.C. on the left side, tough shot there. Deflected on the play, and let's see if they're going to count the basket. They are. What a great tip-in by Damian Jefferson off the right wing. What a play. That's going to be number two on Connor Manis. It was just a tip attempt. Tried to do anything he can to get a hand on the ball. It was a fourth shot opportunity by Jermaine Kuznard. Damian Jefferson picks him up. Auto Masters supports their community by sponsoring a portion of today's game. They're located at 6817 Calumet Avenue in Hammond. They're an ASC certified repair shop specializing in electrical, computer, brake, shock repair, and tune-ups. Auto Master also does towing. For more information and to schedule an appointment, give Auto Masters a call at 931-2702. We're right in your neighborhood. DJ off on the line today now, only 2 of 5. 21-16 East Chicago with their biggest lead now at 5. Three-pointer by the freshman Morris. Took the paint off the rim. Van Dyke trying to get in there, and they're going to call a reach over on Munster. I didn't see that one that time. Antoine Van Dyke, his second foul. Looked to me like Antoine was practicing that principle of verticality there, Chris. Six minutes and six seconds remaining in this second period. East Chicago already in the double bonus. So Devontae Jones, a 58% free throw shooter. Will go to the line, averaging seven rebounds a ball game this season, and he missed the front end. And without Connor Manis, their floor general in the ball game on the bench with two fouls. Obviously, Luke Hackett out of the ball game with illness. Really looking at a young ball club right now on the floor for Munster. Devontae's second charity toss also no good, and the rebound down to Nick Fies. So East Chicago's ineptitude at the line is yep. keeping Munster in the ball game. Four of ten. Canellis now been between the rings. Left side free throw line extended to Javon Morris, the freshman. They're trying to post up Van Dyke down low on Devontae Jones where they got a little bit of a height matchup. Into the ball game for Munster as well as Tommy Maloney, a 6'1 sophomore. Top of the key now. Canellis, nice head and shoulder fake. Right side they go on the play to Fies, and now they'll bring it back out. 5.33 remaining in the first half. Munster down by five with the basketball. Good defense by the Cardinals here in the half court. Jermaine now gets a steal on the play. A jump ball alternate possession arrow will go. A turnover on Munster. Great hands by J.C. Fifth turnover on Munster. Quick hands by Kuznard playing aggressively on the defensive end. But what I like about the energy right now on the defensive end from East Chicago because they're doing it without fouling. They only have four fouls. Well over the double bonus limit for Munster. So Sometimes. Munster able to take it to the rack aggressively and get to the free throw line on any foul the rest of this half. Sometimes you see quick teams play with that misplaced energy on the defensive end. East Chicago certainly not doing it tonight. Javon Moore, Javon Morris is going to get called for the foul, and that's going to send Kuznard 
to the line to shoot a pair. And financial support for this Cardinals basketball broadcast is provided in part by the Foundations of East Chicago. We are dedicated to helping our community through our grant programs, academic scholarships, and overall leadership initiatives. We've dedicated ourselves to uplifting, inspiring, and empowering all the residents of East Chicago. Moving together towards a bright future, the Foundations of East Chicago are in and on your corner. For more information, visit our website, foundations-e-c.org. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter at foundations-ec. Jermaine split the free throws. He's got three. Three minutes gone here in the second stanza as Manis gets set to come back in for Coach Hackett. 22-16 lead for the guest on the uniforms, not the scoreboard, East Chicago Central. Now Manis in some trouble out there. Was able to roll it in a kick save and a beauty called on the Cardinals. It'll stay with Munster. Those two fouls, Connor Manis coming back in the ball game. Munster coaching staff really trying to work the refs here in this second quarter with only 14 fouls on East Chicago. Munster also missing 6'9 freshman Noah Lewis from the lineup as well because of injury, averaging 3-3 a game. So he missed some height there with the youngster. Flash pass goes down low, a errant pass there by Fies. Another turnover on Munster. DJ now, they triple team him. Devontae into the corner. Edwin Wilson's tray is way short. Offensive rebound to Devontae Jones, and he put it up and in for his first two points. Mike Hackett wants a timeout with 4.20 remaining here in the first half. It's 24-16. East Chicago with their biggest lead at 8, Chris. Come see why Levin Tire and Service Center has the best tire prices and deals in northwest Indiana. Right now, all tires are on sale, plus receive rebates up to $160. Levin's is more than just tires, though. They're a full-service auto center featuring alignments, batteries, belts, hoses, and brakes. They have seven convenient locations in northwest Indiana, open Monday through Saturday, with the Highland Store also open on Sunday for your convenience. Check out their website at www.levintirecenter.com for valuable money-saving coupons or call 1-800-475-5005 for more information. Since 1918, Levin Tire and Service Center has been earning your trust one day at a time. Mike Hackett's talked to his players right now. Munster right now with a quick uh, restart there off the full court pressure. Almost got called for the five-second call there. As the Stangs now will bring it up. They face their biggest deficit at 8, 24-16, halfway through the second quarter. Maloney now off the left side, out high to Manis. Now Fizes pass tipped, recovered by Van Dyke, and he got clobbered down low, and the Bronx cheer comes up right. from the Munster bench. Well, Munster's only shot two free throws this ball game. Jake Skrubiak was able to connect on both of them. It's on Damian Jefferson, his first. Munster will shoot a couple free throws. Ogun Insurance Company offers all lines of insurance, including home, auto, business, health, and financial planning. They're located at 6929 Holman Avenue in Hammond. They serve Northwest Indiana with insurance plans that best fit your needs since 1947. For more information, give them a call, 933-0076, or visit them on the web at www.orgoninsurance.com. That's Ogren Insurance, excellent service and competitive prices. Van Dyke made both free throws, long three-pointer, put up a good, actually inside the... Arch there for two for Jones. A rare outside shot for that young man. The line drived it home. Did barely got that ball above the rim, but he was able to sneak it through. Four points for Devontae. Now Van Dyke posts up, kicks it back outside. Fies thought about the Trey Manis. Wide open, and he nailed it. First tray of the evening for Manis. His 26th of the season. Munster back within five. A nice quiet shot by Manis. Not a lot of movement once the ball touches his hands right to the basket. Very unselfish play there by Nick Fies as well as now Stubbs throws up an air ball. Manis comes down with the rebound. Munster's got some numbers that they heard. Connor's going to take it all the way and he banks it up and in. Nicely done by the senior and Coach Turkovich 
wants to take a timeout. The Munster Mustangs with a 5-0 run here, Chris, to get back in it. They trail by three. This spot is sponsored by Swartz Retson and Company, a certified public accounting firm serving both businesses and individuals in northwest Indiana over the last 80 years. Swartz Retson prides itself on being able to provide high-quality tax, accounting, and assurance services to northwest Indiana at reasonable rates. Swartz Retson has helped clients through various changing economies and business environments over recent years. They strive to provide outstanding customer service to all of their clients. Thanks for considering the professionals at Swartz Retson for your tax accounting and assurance needs. Well, Munster kind of be- beating East Chicago there at their own game down the floor, Chris. Well, Munster's a different ball club with Connor Manis in the ball game to quarterback this offense and defense as he's probably their best defender on the ball, and that's why he's been guarding Damian Jefferson. Although with the two fouls right now, they put senior Luke uh, Pellerilla on him. Three minutes remaining in the first half. Edwin Wilson back in the light up now for Coach Turkovich. And we've got a foul called away from the basketball on a hold, I believe, on Munster. Yeah, sophomore Tom Maloney, who looks puzzled at the call. However, that will send East Chicago back to the free throw line. And it'll be a two-shot foul now for Kuznard with three minutes remaining. In the first half, attorney Lonnie Randolph supports his community by sponsoring a portion of East Chicago Central Cardinals basketball on regional radio sports and RRSN.com. Attorney Randolph specializes in trial, criminal, civil, personal injury, and property issues. His law office is located at 1919 East Columbus Drive in East Chicago. For more information and to schedule an appointment, give Lonnie a call, 219-397-5531, as Jermaine hits both free throws. Gets East Chicago to the 50% mark from the line, 7 of 14 as a team. 251 remaining in the first half. Munster trailing it by 5. East Chicago led it just a couple minutes ago by 8. Pillarello now off the right side with the left-handed drive to Tommy Maloney. Double ones now looking for some room over Wilson. Top of the key to Van Dyke. They post fives down low. Took it in strong on Jermaine. Couldn't get it to go. And now DJ comes back on the offensive side. Glides, flies, took it to the rat. And let's see, they're going to wave it off, saying that the foul was on the floor. And folks were not at the United Center. He thought about it for a while and then made the right call. That's a big one. That's number three on Connor Manis. Boy, DJ just with lightning quick speed going down the floor, beating the Munster team down the court. Today's broadcast of Cardinals basketball brought to us by the Foundations of East Chicago, whether on the court or in the community. The Foundations of East Chicago is committed to improving the quality of life for all East Chicago residents. We demonstrate the commitment through our scholarship programs, through financial support of local institutions like food pantries and churches, and by providing leadership and advice to help make our community the best that it can be. For more information, please visit our website, www.foundations-e-c.org. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter at foundations-e-c. And Munster just caught themselves a break yeah, on that foul did. call. They changed the foul and gave it to Luke Pellarella, which is his first foul instead of Connor, Connor Manis's third foul. That's a game changer right there. And yeah, Manis would have probably had to sit out the final 229 of the half. As it is, he's got new life out there as DJ goes to the line. And he nails them both. He now has... Seven in the game. Did he split those, Chris? Or? Yeah, he hit them both. Hit eight them both. Okay, the game. so he's got eight. East Chicago back up by seven now. Manis off the right side to Maloney. 2-17 remaining in the first half. Munster trailing by seven with the basketball. And a reach-in going to be called on Kuznard. And now East Chicago one foul away from one and the bonus. And that's number two now on Jermaine. Edwin Wilson will come back in now. They don't want to get number three on number five. East Chicago again playing that 2-3 zone that Chris talked about down low. Fies now in the lane. And they're going to call a jump ball alternate possession. Will stay with Munster. Hard to go through the tall trees down there. Yes, it is. Especially when you don't have one to throw it to. <laughs> Yeah, Stribiak Munster, out of the lineup yeah. now for Munster. Munster gets uh, a lot smaller with uh, Stribiak out of the lineup. Now the freshman Morris, Javon, will bring it back out. Two minutes 
Two minutes remaining in the first half of play. Munster trailing at 30 to 23. Crossover dribble by Javon. Back on the weave now on the play to Manis. Jamar Adams back in there defensively for East Chicago Central as Maloney now holds it up high for the white-clad Munster Mustangs. Fies, head and shoulder fake. Now he'll pop it over Devontae Jones and he gets the shooter's touch for the tray. Well, Nick Fies, only a freshman, showing great maturity because I thought he was getting fouled down low as he's trying to post up against uh, the defender of East Chicago. Use a nice head and shoulder fake after he, step, he stepped out of the post. He now has eight three-pointers on the season. They double down on DJ. Beautiful pass to Stubbs. Couldn't get it to go. The rebound tipped around and controlled by Manis for the Stanks. Connor now smartly with a bounce pass down to Van Dyke. Puts it up over Jones. Couldn't get it to go. And Devontae will get caught with his fingers in the cookie jar. The Munster Mustang starting to run when the opportunity strikes. Well, Devontae Jones just walked in to Van Dyke just enough to throw him off balance or else he'd be shooting for a three-point opportunity right now. So Antoine Van Dyke, ooh, that one was down the well and came back out. So he's right at his season average now, two of three. They're going to get Manis out of there with those two fouls. A great job getting him out of there with those two fouls. A minute nine remaining. Munster's going to be on the defensive end. Still one more for Antoine, and he missed them both. DJ soars for the rebound. So two big misses there that could have brought Munster within two. One minute, one minute remaining in the first half. East Chicago up by four with the ball. Stubbs post up DJ on the baseline, and he tickles the twine from 15. Now we've seen him make that fade away along the baseline many times this year. Not much you can do as a defender. That's a D1 move there. 45 seconds remaining in the first half of play. East Chicago up by six on defense. Now Van Dyke at the top of the key. Wide open. Canales tries to cut the lead in half. Lay off the mark. He gets his own rebound. Took it up strong. He got fouled and he scored. Great determination and desire by the little guy, Peter Canales. 5'7", well, very determined to get that errant shot. He's proven a couple times here tonight. He's not afraid to get inside and mix it up a little bit. Great determination. Coach Hack at getting some quality playing time from two freshmen there. <laughs> if you're not hurt or if you're not ill and you have a white jersey on tonight, you better be willing to play in this <laughs> ball game because you're going to get in. Canales to complete the old-fashioned three-point play. He's got five and the lead back down to three with a half a minute remaining. East Chicago 32 and Munster 29. And Coach Turkovich wants to go for one, and he said that pretty emphatically. 18 seconds remaining in the first half. Jamar Adams dribbling out the seconds here. We're down to 10 seconds remaining. He'll now go right side to Stubbs. Down to six seconds remaining. Stubbs now over left side to Jones. Back over to DJ. Fires it on the play off the mark. And a shot now at the buzzer is off the backboard and no good. And that completes the first half of action here at the John A. Barano Center. The score at the end of 16 minutes of action here in this Class 4A Sectional 1 quarterfinal. The East Chicago Central Cardinals 32 and the Munster Mustangs 29. We will take a two-minute timeout. We'll come back with our halftime stats and much more. You're listening to award-winning coverage of student-athletes on RRSN.com and the Regional Radio Sports Network. At Verizon Bank, we're more than just your hometown bank. We're your neighbor. Whether you're ready to get a loan for your next family vacation, that new car you had your eye on, a much-needed renovation, your dream home, or your business, trust the local lenders at Verizon Bank for the loan you need. Local people making local decisions. Visit horizonbank.com. Horizon Bank. Member FDIC Equal Housing Lender. In, and then you looked over the edge. I was like, no way am I jumping off this tower. I'm staying right here. I'm like, am I ever going to be good enough to be a Marine? When it was all said and done, watching the car guard raise the American flag, I thought, I am a United States Marine. 
PFC Keith Falcon knows you don't join the Marines, you become one. Visit Marines.com or call 1-800-MARINES. Score big with a low-rate TCU Visa Platinum credit card that can help you take charge of those long-awaited projects or cover unexpected emergency needs. It not only comes with a low rate, but offers everything you need, including no annual fees, no balance transfer fees, easy cash advances at ATMs, and much more. Don't miss out on a good play. Take charge of those projects and score big with a low-rate TCU Visa Platinum credit card. Learn more and apply today at tcunet.com slash credit cards. Mike Knezovic, Chris Adzia back with you here with our halftime report. A 32-29 lead for the East Chicago Central Cardinals. East Chicago led it at the end of the first quarter 16-12. And they come up with a 17-16 lead, does Munster, in the second quarter to cut that four-point lead down to three, Chris. And certainly with all the adversity that Munster faced, there was a time in the ball game where things could have really got out of control for Munster. They could have been down by double digits, but good poise by this young Munster team. Yeah, they didn't let one turnover uh, lead into two or three turnovers as East Chicago likes to do uh, and get on those big scoring runs and get the crowd behind them. But, uh, you know, I think Munster has played a very disciplined ball game, taking some opportunities and quick shots only when it presents itself. And, and at times taking a lot of time off the clock as well, doing a decent job taking care of the ball with only six turnovers. Um, got in a little bit of foul trouble there as the fouls mounted up, you know, with some of their starters. But East Chicago, only 9 of 16 from the free throw yep. line, really wasn't able to take advantage of it. And I think if you tell Coach Hackett you're playing without um, Luke Hackett tonight, your leading scorer, and you're going to be down three points at halftime, you know, a possession away from tying it up, I think he would have taken that scenario. Yeah, I think he's taking it and running <laughs> right into the halftime locker room, no doubt about that. As far as uh, foul trouble, right now a plethora of players with two fouls. We thought that Connor Manis was going to get hit with his third, but they ended up changing it, giving the foul to Luke Pellarella instead. So right now Manis has two, Christian Cruz has two, and Antoine Van Dyke with two for Munster. Devontae Jones, along with Jermaine Kuznard and Charlie Cleveland, with two apiece for East Chicago. And, Chris, you got our first half numbers. Well, they look this way for the Cardinals, who are up by 3, 32-29. They had six players score for Coach Turkovich. Damian Jefferson was the only player in the ballgame in double digits thus far. He had 10 points, struggled a little bit from the free throw line. He was only able to connect on four of seven, typically a 75% free throw shooter. Six points from Allian Stubbs all in the first quarter. Five points from Jermaine Kuznard. He was three of four from the free throw line. Four points apiece from Devontae Jones and Charlie Cleveland. And three points off the bench from Jamar Adams. East Chicago had five offensive rebounds. I only had them penciled for four turnovers. They were nine of 16 from the free throw line. Only four three-point attempts from behind the stripe for East Chicago in that first half. They were able to connect on one of them, which was Stubbs, but I like the fact that they're taking the ball to the basket rather than, rather than settling for the deep three. And Munster doing a really good job on that interior defense, Chris. Uh, DJ's hit some shots from the baseline, but they've been very tough shots. Well, Munster's not going to give you any free looks at the basket. If you're going to get in there, be prepared to, to uh, uh, get some contact and, and go to the free throw line. You know, Munster has really come in here with an aggressive attitude, and, and they're playing physically as they normally do. We're going to go ahead and take a two-minute timeout. When we come back, we'll try to get some scoreboard updates from across the state of Indiana as well. As uh, right now, it's 32-29. to 29. The Chicago Central Cardinals leading the Munster Mustangs on RRSN.com and the Regional Radio Sports Network. a new career in a cutting-edge, exciting, and globally competitive company? Enroll 
Valley Steelworker for the Future, a two-and-a-half-year associate degree program offered at select community colleges, and you'll be prepared for a high-paying career at ArcelorMittal, the world's leading steel company. Graduates may be hired as maintenance technicians, earning an average of $90,000 per year, plus benefits. Your future with a leader in steel starts now. Visit steelworkerforthefuture.com today. Score big with a low-rate TCU Visa Platinum credit card that can help you take charge of those long-awaited projects or cover unexpected emergency needs. It not only comes with a low rate, but offers everything you need, including no annual fees, no balance transfer fees, easy cash advances at ATMs, and much more. Don't miss out on a good play. Take charge of those projects and score big with the low-rate TCU Visa Platinum credit card. Learn more and apply today at tcunet.com slash credit cards. State Farm Insurance asked, what if your roommate, we'll call him Einstein, decides to microwave a metal mixing bowl full of cookie dough and sets your apartment on fire? State Farm has an agent for that. See your State Farm agent for auto, renters, frankly all kinds of insurance. Call them today. In Griffith, call Ron Pierce at 821 West 45th Street. Call Ron at 924-3311. In Crown Point, Bob Reese at 152 West Joliet. Call Bob. 663-7337 and in Portage, Brett Huber 5474 U.S. Highway 6 Call Brett 763-4236 Like a good neighbor Mike Knezovic, Chris Adzia back with you here. Keep in mind that uh, Chris and I will be right back with you here on Friday evening for the semifinal here at uh, the Barado Center and also for the championship game as well right here in East Chicago Central and Class 4A here in Sectional 1. Meanwhile, we'll have another crew. Dave Miller and Steve Dahl will be over at Crown Point uh, for that particular sectional and Sectional 2 on WEFM for half the bracket. And we'll follow the Crown Point Bulldogs in the second ball game taking on the winner of Chesterton and Holbert with an opportunity for Crown Point to get to play for another sectional championship, Chris. Chester, Chesterton all over uh, Holbert at halftime as well, 28-12. to 12, And half the field is set here for the semifinal. Uh, the early game here at East Chicago on Friday will be uh, uh, the Lowell Red Devils and the Morton Governors. Of course, Morton had the bye till, until Friday. And uh, we need to play another 16 minutes here in the second half to see who will take on the West Side Cougars? Let's take a look at our Munster scoring stats, which are brought to us by Olgren Insurance Company, offering all lines of insurance, including home, auto, business, health, and financial planning. They're located at 6929 Holman Avenue in Hammond. They serve Northwest Indiana with insurance plans that best fit your needs since 1947. For more information, give them a call at 933-0076 or visit them on the web, www.olgreninsurance.com. That's Olgren Insurance, excellent service and competitive prices, Chris. Uh, Munster played nine players in that first half. Six of them scored. They were led in scoring by freshman Nick Fies. He had seven points. Five points apiece by a trio of players, Peter Canellis, Connor Manis, and Javon Morris. Four points from Drake, Jake Stribiak, and two points off the bench for Antoine Van Dyke. Munster had two offensive rebounds. They turned the ball over six times. They were six of eight from the charity stripe, three of eight from downtown. But the story right now and the concern for Munster is they had... Five players all with two fouls. That's Connor Manis, Nick Fies, Christian Cruz, Jake Stribiak, and Antoine Van Dyke. You don't want to end up being in the double bonus with five minutes remaining no. in this game in the second half. Yeah, I think East Chicago got there just under the six-minute mark in that second quarter. But once again, as we talked about, they weren't really able to fully take advantage of that by going only 9 of 16 from the free throw line. So 32-29, to 29, East Chicago Central with the lead, and they will have the basketball here to start. The second half is a fresh eight minutes go up on the clock. So Elion Stubbs now will quarterback the offense for the Cardinals. Kuznard back to the top of the key now. 
Man-to-man defense for Munster to start the second half and a push-off, an offensive foul on Jermaine Kuznard, and that is foul number three now on the Cardinals swingman. And turnover number five, and we'll take a look at that defense uh, once again when East Chicago gets the ball. I want to say Munster came out in a triangle and two that time. Man-to-man on Kuznard and um, Damian Jefferson. And they looked to double team off of it when Kuznar got the ball on the wing as well. Coach Hackett telling Javon Morris, you might want to join the fray there and help out. Crowd still filing back in from halftime festivities. So Munster right now within one possession, and they have the basketball here with 15 seconds gone. Now a miscue is going to be turned over to Devontae Jones. His pass, good job by Canellis to recover there, as right now the team's a little bit rusty out of the halftime chat. Uh, Devontae Jones did a nice job not trying to grab that ball and force something to the basket. Kuznard off the inbounds pass. He'll pop it, left it way short. DJ got the easy rebound but left it short, then got it and scored, and he was fouled. So Damian Jefferson with a little bit of persistence there, and he's got a chance to get the old-fashioned three-point play, Chris. Now is the time to visit Scapel Buick GMC in Maryville. Check out the 2016 new and redesigned GMC terrain and get 15% off MSRP on select Buick inventory like the 8-passenger 2015 Enclave. Enclave. And introducing GMC, the next generation of professional-grade vehicles, and see why Scapel Buick GMC was named the Dealer of the Year for the fifth year in a row. Visit them at 3209 West Lincoln Highway, just two miles west of I-65 on US-30. Or call 219-769-6381 or go online at Scapel Buick GMC for more information. Another missed free throw for Jefferson and also a missed three from the outside by the Stangs. And now the ball deflected out of bounds. Javon Morris had a real nice look there that could have brought Munster within two. As we are thanking uh, Scapel Buick, I was trying to see who that foul was on and indeed it was on Jake Stribiak, his third, Mike. Thanks for that catch, Chris. Tommy Maloney will come in now to replace Canellis for Munster. Almost a minute gone here in the third quarter play. Connor Mattis to trigger in for Munster. Goes into the corner. Wide open three by Tommy Maloney. Way off the mark and then a reach over foul going to be called on the Munster offense. And that's number three now on Antoine Van Dyke. So Van Dyke and Stribiak. Both with four personal fouls. Now you're two guys that you count on for some contribution in the post, both offensively and defense. defensively, both with three fouls. Nice overplay by Manis as he tipped it away from Jefferson. And Munster definitely in a triangle and two. Again, Manis man-to-man on Damian Jefferson. Those two have had a few dinner yep. conversations Tommy, tonight. Tommy Maloney, man-to-man on Kuznard. Nice job by Stubbs as he puts up a zone buster for his eighth point. And now East Chicago's gotten out to a seven-point lead. Top of the key on the play. Fies almost was able to cut the lead in half. And the rebound down to Jermaine. Kuznard now over Maloney. Takes it up and scores as he hit it over Fies. A high degree of difficulty. Great body control that time on the move for Jermaine Kuznar. That's a tough shot. East Chicago has extended their biggest lead or equaled their biggest lead at 9, 38, 229. And attorney Lonnie Randolph supports his community by sponsoring a portion of East Chicago Central Cardinals basketball, regional radio sports, and RRSN.com. Attorney Randolph specializes in trial, criminal, civil, personal injury, and property issues. His law office is located at 1919 East Columbus Drive in East Chicago. For more information and to schedule an appointment, give Lonnie a call, 219-397-5531. Alberts Jewelers is Northwest Indiana and Chicagoland's oldest and most trusted jeweler. Trust our family to offer you the highest and best prices for your unwanted jewelry, gold and silver coins, watches, and diamonds of all sizes. You'll be surprised how much it's worth at Albert's. We also buy gold and offer loans on jewelry up to $100,000. Albert's Jewelers has two locations to serve you at 711 Main Street in Sherrillville and South Lake Mall in Merrillville. For more information, call the Merrillville store at 219-769-1976. The Sherrillville location at 219 219- 322-2700 or visit our website at www.albertsjewelers.com. 
So back out will be Cleveland, Jones, Stubbs, Jefferson, and Kuznard for the Cardinals. Munster will counter with Manis, Van Dyke, Morris the freshman, Tommy Maloney, and Nick Fies. 38-29 Cardinals, Chris. Now Munster 0 of 3 from downtown early in this quarter. East Chicago comes out attacking the basket once again. They're 3 of 4 from the field. Stubbs now head manning it, man-to-man defense on Manis, who saw a sliver of light at the left elbow. His pass deflected from Van Dyke, and a turnover number nine on the Stangs. Cleveland back the other way, hits the floor hard after a two-handed tomahawk dunk. And came flat down on the floor on his chest, but the football player just jumped up uh, like nothing happened. Looked for a dent there in the wood. Fies now, right side free throw line extended to Mattis. Charlie just kind of in a daze right now out there. And East Chicago now with their biggest lead at 11. The freshman Morris way off the mark. And the ball will go back to the Cardinals. A couple forced opportunities now for Munster the last two times down. Can just feel the crowd right now starting to turn for the Cardinals here. It's already a double-digit lead, but you just get the impression that it's about to be blown out of the water. DJ top of the key left it short. Devontae Jones offensive rebound. DJ tip couldn't get it to go and then he followed with the basket. All kinds of offensive rebounds for the cards. Yeah, give them nine on the night now on the offensive boards. DJ now with 14 points. Nice move to the rack and putting it up and scoring was Maloney. As he picks up his first two points. A badly needed basket that time by the Mustangs. Now Stubbs off the left side. He likes it from there, but put it off the back heel of the rim. Cleveland trying to chase down Van Dyke, but couldn't get it the ball. Now plenty Mattis of time, up high. Mike. No time to panic here if you're the Mustangs. They're going to call an offensive foul here on Fies. Let's see. No, they're going to call it on the Cardinals. And that's number three now on Devontae Jones. Fies, flash pass to Van Dyke. Weak side, Manis' Trey got a good look but couldn't get it to go. Van Dyke, the offensive rebound. High low back outside to Maloney. Tommy Maloney now picking up a screen from Van Dyke. Top of the key to Fives. 42-31 deficit facing Munster at the left elbow. Maloney way short. Jefferson with the outlet to Jermaine. Took it up coast to coast. Couldn't get the layup to go. And the rebound back to Maloney. Double ones back the other way. Guarded by Elion Stubbs. Bounce pass over to the freshman Morris. He got away with a walk. Yes, and they're going to call an offensive wow. foul on number 10 for Munster. Uh, he get, got away with a walk but didn't get the benefit of the bang-bang uh, blocker charge call down low. I didn't think Cleveland was completely square or set. Halfway through the third quarter of play. 42-31 lead. For East Chicago, they got a double down on DJ. Great job by Maloney to force the turnover. Number six on the Cardinals. Manis having some trouble now in the backcourt by Stubbs. They get it over the timeline, stolen by Cleveland. He tries to save it, and he runs out of real estate on the far sideline. A great quickness by the big guy who's known for his physical play that time. Can you focus? Great job of... Uh, Anticipating that, uh, that that pass along the sideline. Three thirty nine remaining here in the third quarter of play. Once again, Manis having some trouble in the backcourt. Forty two thirty one, Munster trailing it by eleven. Bounce pass off the right side. Pillarella got cut off nicely with some weak side by Cleveland. Fies now as they post Van Dyke inside out, back out. Three-pointer by Fies is another air ball, and it'll hit the baseline. Good effort there by Maloney, but he couldn't corral it in time. I enjoy the way Antoine Van Dyke uh, you know, sets up his teammates. Those are three nice kickouts from inside the post. That time Fies just didn't have the distance. He's 0 of 2 now this quarter from behind the stripe. 
Cleveland with a lob pass inside to Jamar Kuznar, Jermaine Kuznar. And now Jamar Adams will come into the ball game for East Chicago Central. Actually, he's going to take a seat as Christian Cruz now will come back in for Munster, replacing the freshman, Nick Fies. 3.06 remaining in the third quarter. 42-31 East Chicago Central. Munster with only one field goal here in the third quarter. Cleveland at the right elbow. Now Devontae inside to Germain. He banked it up in and he scored. Great job off the weak side by Kuznard to flash to the basket for the chance for the old-fashioned three-point play. Are you in the market for a new or used car or truck? Then stop by Christensen Chevrolet in Highland during their giant model sales event. They currently have great deals on several 2015 Chevy models with $1,000 to $5,000 cash back, along with 0% APR financing for 72 months and no payments for 90 days. Located at 9700 Indianapolis Boulevard, Christensen Chevrolet has been driving the American dream and proudly serving you since 1951. Their phone number is 888-999-9141, and their website is christianchevy.com. Biggest lead of the ball game at 14 for the Cardinals with 258 remaining in the third quarter. And Tech Credit Union can help you get the cash you need for home improvements, education costs, travel, or any other purpose. Unlock your home's equity with a home equity loan featuring a 3.99 annual percentage rate, seven-year repayment term, and no closing cost. Best of all, with a fixed rate, your monthly payment won't change during your loan term. To learn more, visit techcu.org, contact any branch, or call them at 800-276-TECH. That's 800-276-8324. Tech Credit Union is an equal opportunity lender and is federally insured by the National Credit Union Administration. Rates may change without notice. With winter already here, is it time for new tires? If so, stop by Levin Tire and Service Center to receive up to $160 in tire rebates and find out why they've been named the best tire shop and best auto repair shop in the region for seven years in a row. Levin's also has a price match guarantee, so if you find a lower price somewhere else, they will match it. Levin's has seven convenient locations in northwest Indiana. For more information, call 1-800-475-5005 or visit www.levintirecenter.com for valuable money-saving coupons. Levin Tire and Service Center, earning your trust one day at a time since 1918. Edwin Wilson now comes back into the ballgame for East Chicago Central. Manis over the midcourt stripe, right side to Canellis. Back over to Connor. Good recovery by Edwin. 2.48 remaining in the third quarter. East Chicago Central leading it by 14. Christian Cruz back in the lineup now for Munster as he wanders the baseline. Pillarella, left side now, nice head and shoulder fake by Cruz, back out to Van Dyke, wide open three, Luke Pillarella couldn't get it to go, DJ rips down the rebound for EC. Right side, Charlie with a reverse layup, left it short, Jefferson with the follow and he scored. Now Jefferson has been a man child on the offensive boards tonight, came out of nowhere to get that one. Stribiak getting set to come back in after a long absence. Canales' bank shot is up and good off the right side. Peter with a nice move. He's got seven. Two minutes. Two minutes remaining here in the third quarter. Cardinals up by 14 with the basketball. No look. Pass by DJ down to Jamar Adams. A thing of beauty. Now they tried to come with the double team. DJ just took a step back dribble. An easy pass down low. A lot of contact up high, no call. 139 remaining in the third. Munster trailing it by 16. Manis hawked outside by Adams. Had a backdoor cutting Cruz, but passed that up. Van Dyke left wide open. He left the shot short. Nice tip attempt there by Pillarella, but that was short as well. DJ crossover dribble. Nice through the lane, and he's going to draw the foul. On the drive. That'll be on Pillarella, his second. Meanwhile, Stribiak will come in to replace Luke. It's 15 foul on the Stanks. And Jake Stribiak's had a lot of time on that bench, both in the first half and this third quarter. Comes back in with three fouls. 114 remaining in the third. They missed DJ underneath the basket. 
49-33 Chicago Central. And now a foul away from the ball as Canellis is going to get caught with his fingers in the cookie jar trying to hold DJ on the baseline. Foul starting to pile up once again on Munster. Only two team fouls on East Chicago, six on Munster. Quickly into Cleveland, and they're going to call an offensive foul. Great job by Stribiak moving his feet in the lane. Yeah, tough to do with three fouls, too, when you've been sitting over there for a long time. Well, Jake is not certainly, he's certainly not going to shy away from contact. Of course, the veteran played under Leroy Marsh. And the gridiron action for Munster. One minute remaining in the third quarter. East Chicago up by 16, trying to take control here. Munster trying to come up with a run to possibly get it to single digits here. DJ leading all scorers now with 16 in the ballgame. Motion offense to Manis. Got a half a step on Wilson. Good recovery by Edwin. Right side to Cruz. Bounce pass down to Van Dyke. Reverse layup. He left it short. The rebound tipped and controlled by Adams for the Cardinals. Got a good look there, but just couldn't get it to go. 30 seconds remaining, and Coach Turkovic says we want to go for one up by 16. Yeah, why not up 16? You're exactly right. Great call by Coach Turkovic. You got the, the ball where you want it right now, and Damian Jefferson's hands dribbling the ball right here down in front of us. Once he's going to come and double, trying to make him get rid of it. And he did steal it. Cruz back the other way, comes coast to coast. Good recovery by Jefferson to knock it out of bounds. And DJ said, that one's on me. A great speed by Damian Jefferson. Didn't hang his head at all after the turnover. 7.1 seconds remaining. Manis gets it inside to Van Dyke. Got a half a step on Jones. Little pop shot, no good. Stribiak with the tip. Adams is able to get it out, and Wilson will run out of time here in the third quarter of play. Three quarters in the books here at the John A. Barato Center in East Chicago. The score, East Chicago Central 49 and Munster 33. We'll be back with the fourth quarter after a 60-second timeout on RRSN.com and Regional Radio Sports. State Farm Insurance asks, what if your roommate, we'll call him Einstein, decides to microwave a metal mixing bowl full of cookie dough and sets your apartment on fire? State Farm has an agent for that. See your State Farm agent for auto, renters, frankly all kinds of insurance. Call them today. In Griffith, call Ron Pierce at 821 West 45th Street. Call Ron at 924-3311. In Crown Point, Bob Reese at 152 West Joliet. Call Bob. 663-7337 and in Portage, Brett Huber 5474 U.S. Highway 6 Call Brett 763-4236 Like a good neighbor Thank Mike Knezovich, Chris Adzia Gene Miller back with you here at the Barado Center East Chicago Central with a 17-4 run there in the quarter, Chris, to take control of this game now up by 16. Yeah, only four points for Munster. They were 0 of 5 from three-point range. You know, the question now is with only eight minutes remaining, does Munster have enough firepower or gas in the tank to make a run at East Chicago? Connor Manis will see if he can get things going here for the Stangs. Tommy Maloney back into the lineup now. Stribiak really battling down low with Cleveland. Yeah, that's been fun. I've been watching that quite a bit. And Connor Manis gets things off to a good start for the Stings as he tickles the twine from 21. He's got eight. 49-36 cards. Now Adams took it in on Stribiak. Couldn't get the kind road. Jefferson, the offensive rebound, put back. Give him 18. And he's been doing it all in the lane this uh, tonight. He's been a thorn in the side for Munster, and now a foul going to be called on Stribiak as he went toe-to-toe there with Charlie Cleveland down low. Oh, extracurricular activities now. Stribiak says, Coach, I've been over there too long. I have four fouls, but keep me in. Another turnover now on Munster as well. You know how that works. Sometimes it's the second guy that gets Absolutely. caught. Absolutely. I didn't see it that time. That's been a matchup that I've been watching quite a bit. 
off the ball when Jake Stribick has been in the ball game. 7-11 remaining. 51-36 East Chicago Central with the basketball up by 15. A triple team DJ and that leaves Jamar Adams open for the basket. He's got seven off the bench tonight. And a great find once again by DJ. No help to help her as Tribia came over strong on the help side. Edwin Wilson comes up with the steal. Banked it up and in. And Mike Hackett wants a timeout. Listen to the crowd as they go on their feet on the far sideline. East Chicago with their biggest lead at 19, 55 to 36. This spot is sponsored by Swartz, Retson & Company, a certified public accounting firm serving both businesses and individuals in northwest Indiana over the last 80 years. Swartz Retson prides itself on being able to provide high quality tax, accounting, and assurance services to northwest Indiana at reasonable rates. Swartz Retson has helped clients through various changing economies and business environments over recent years. They strive to provide outstanding customer service to all of their clients. Thanks for considering the professionals at Swartz Retson for your tax, accounting, and assurance needs. White Funeral Home, located at 4201 Indianapolis Boulevard in East Chicago, has been family-owned and operated in northwest Indiana since 1898. They offer cremation and burial services, and they also provide for funeral prearrangement and insurance needs. The phone number for Fife Funeral Home in East Chicago, 219 219- 398-3210. That's uh, 55-36 here. East Chicago doing a great job defensively, contesting every dribble by Connor Mann is trying to bring the ball up the floor. Over at Crown Point, Chesterton and Hobart went to halftime. It's a 15-point lead by Chesterton, 40 to 25. Stribiak just laid the lumber on Jamar Adams. Meanwhile, Maloney all the way down. He banked it up. No good. But Tommy Maloney. We'll go to the line, and right now things getting a little chippy yeah, out there. The last several minutes here. Started a little bit before halftime. Calumet College of St. Joseph has the lowest tuition of any private college in Indiana. It offers traditional programs with flexible class schedules, accelerated programs to help adults earn their bachelor's degree in as little as 12 months, and master's programs specifically designed for working adults. Make CCSJ your university of choice. For more information on your future potential and upcoming spring enrollment, check out their website at ccsj.edu. Tommy Maloney hits the first free throw. He only has four free throw opportunities on the year coming in tonight's, to tonight's game. Gets them both. Looked pretty good on the form there. Nice little runner by Jermaine Kuznard along that right, right baseline. He now has 12. Four different players getting on the scoreboard for East Chicago Central here in quarter number four. Fies tries to fill it up from the outside. Weak side rebound to Jamar Morris. No good. Cleveland with a great rip out, and he gets That's the elbows flying right you now. Throw an elbow, don't you? Very fortunate right there for East Chicago that they're going to call that foul on Nick Fies. That's where some of the rule changes from the NBA haven't really made their way down to high school. <laughs> and really on the college level or the NBA, that's something they go to the monitor. You know, they still might award the foul to the defensive team there, but they, they go to the monitor and look if there was intent on that thrown elbow and make the decision off the monitor. For a potential flagrant foul. Or ejection. Charlie's free throw is good. And that makes it a 20-point lead now for East Chicago Central. Cleveland now one for two from the line. The Cardinals now 11 for 19 in the game. Certainly no love loss between these two programs. Been a big history both, between yeah, them. Both highly uh, successful histories as well over the last 15 years. That one way short by Cleveland. Charlie doing the turtle out there. Coach Turkovic says, hey, pick up. Where are we going? Pick up. Full court. Still a lot of time with 6-10 remaining. But East Chicago now comfortably up by 20. Stribiak with another large pick. And nice three-pointer there. That's a good-looking freshman there in Javon Morris. Smooth shot by the freshman. Now a steal on the play and a foul on Wilson. As East Chicago Central now starting to turn it over here. And Coach Turkovich has seen enough. He wants to take a timeout. With 5.53 remaining in the game. 
and East Chicago Central up by 17, 58 to 41. Ogren Insurance Company offers all lines of insurance, including home, auto, business, health, and financial planning. They're located at 6929 Holman Avenue in Hammond, and they serve Northwest Indiana with insurance plans that best fit your needs since 1947. For more information, give them a call at 933-0076. Visit them on the web at ogreninsurance.com. That's Ogren Insurance, excellent service, competitive prices, Chris. If, you, if you're in the market for a new or used car, then now is the time to visit Scapel Buick GMC in Maryville. Right now, get $10,000 off select 2015 Sierra 1500 Series trucks and 15% off MSRP on select Buick models. Also check out their new commercial department with in stock new and used dump trucks, flatbed, service body, and plow trucks. Scapel Buick GMC is located at 3209 West Lincoln Highway, just two miles west of I-65 on US-30. For more information, visit them online at Scapel Buick GMC or call 219-769-6381. So Munster with the ball down by 17. Tommy Maloney now cut off on the drive by DJ. Man-to-man defense for East Chicago Central. Connor Mann is from the twilight zone, and he rattled it home and makes some pay with the tray. 28 three-pointers on the season, and the Stangs have cut it now down to 14. Nice 6-0 run here to get some promise going. Now Coach Turkovich wants to shorten this game up a little bit. Not a bad move. Yeah, he's going to make Munster come out and get you. The plan for Munster the last three trips down is just send Stribiak and set a pick on the ball, try to relieve some of that ball pressure on the point guards. DJ Nice right through the defense. Connor Manis wanted to travel, and he's not going to get it as the foul is called on Nick Fies. And now we'll send DJ to the line. To shoot a pair and gives us a chance to thank the Foundations of East Chicago. Whether on the court or in the community, the Foundations is committed to improving the quality of life for all East Chicago residents. We demonstrate the commitment through our scholarship programs, through financial support of local institutions like food pantries and churches, and by providing leadership and advice to help make our community the best that it can be. For more information, please visit our website, www.foundations-e-c.org. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter at Foundations-EC. DJ, still struggling from the line tonight, split the free throws. He's got 19. Three-pointers short on the play by Fies, and Kuznard gets the loose pumpkin. Yeah, Fies is not in a real comfortable space, uh, place right now shooting that three from the top this half. Kuznard's miss is tipped out to Cleveland. And now DJ will corral it with East Chicago up by 15. Sloppy passes, turned over to Morris. He took it in. Rejected by Damian Jefferson. What a play. Just a human highlight film. His two turnovers on top. He hustled back on both of them. Either got a rejection or deflection out of bounds. <laughs> what a recovery there by the University of New Mexico recruit. Well, he covers ground in a hurry. Well, he's really had an answer for everything that Munster's trying to throw at him defensively tonight. Jamar Adams now is going to draw the foul on the baseline. Well, Munster's up in that 25-plus team foul number right now. And a lot of whistles. So Jamar Adams, a 53% free throw shooter, will go to the line. He's got seven tonight. He'll try to extend the lead here with a couple free throws to 17. First one is short. And four fouls on J Javon Morris, full four fouls on Nick Feiss, and four on Jake Stribiak. Handful of others with three or two for the Mustangs. East Chicago now only 12 of 23 from the line tonight. One more for Jamar, and he missed that one too. He's still at seven. So still halfway through the fourth quarter here. Munster trying to get it down to single digits, but Jamar Adams comes up with the answer on the defensive end. What a steal. 
Jermaine took it in strong. It was rejected on the play by Moore. Stribiak then got his pocket picked by DJ, and he came in there with a two-handed dunk. Yeah, it's too much quickness that time by Jefferson. Standing broad jump to that two-hand tomahawk. Jake wasn't really sure what hit him on that one. Now he's usually able to get by most defenders with that bust-out dribble or two. That time, Damian Jefferson with the quickness came from behind. 61-44, to 44, East Chicago Central with the lead. 350 remaining in the ballgame. And Automasters supports their community by sponsoring a portion of today's game. They're located at 6817 Calumet Avenue in Hammond. They're an ASC certified repair shop specializing in electrical, computer, brakes, shock repair, and tune-ups. Automaster also does towing. For more information and to schedule an appointment, give Automasters a call. 931-2702. We're right in your neighborhood. Crowd having a good time out here at the Barado Center. Cheerleaders putting on a little bit of a show along that far sideline. East Chicago Central trying to punch their ticket into the semifinals. Well, they will take on the Gary Westside Cougars. Lowen Munster in the other semifinal, and now DJ commits the foul up high. Silly foul that time by DJ. Just got a little bit anxious after that last tomahawk dunk. Wants to go get another one. It's one of the few players out there. Well, he's thinking offense all the time, even on the defensive end. Now Stribiak's got the smaller Jones guarding him, and he drew the foul on a nice spinorama move on the low block. Elion Stubbs will pick up the foul, only his first foul. Our good friend attorney Lonnie Randolph supports his community by sponsoring a portion of East Chicago Central Cardinals basketball on regional radio sports and rrsn.com. Attorney Randolph specializes in trial, criminal, civil, personal injury, and property issues. His law office is located 1919 East Columbus Drive in East Chicago. For more information and to schedule an appointment, give Lonnie a call, 219 219- 397-5531 as Stribiak nails the two free throws. He now has six points. He's four of four from the free throw line. 3.30 remaining. 61-46 East Chicago. Coach Turkovich stands up once again and says pull it out. Devontae Jones giving East Chicago some great passing down low, but Stubbs missed the bunny. Connor Manis the rebound for the Mustangs. Yeah, Manis got away with the foul there on the shot block attempt. Fai setting a moving screen up high. Manis inside the volleyball line, and the ball goes off of Devontae Jones' foot. It'll stay with the Stangs. We mentioned Munster with an opportunity to play for that Northwest Crossroads Conference title. Now Jones off the turnover, over to Jermaine. He missed the one-handed dunk. Then DJ got fouled from the backside by a Munster Mustangs, and things getting a little yeah. bit edgy there in the low block. Well, he got fouled pretty hard from, from behind with the hack down on his arm. Nick Fies picks up his fourth now, joining Stribiak in that category. Actually, no, Nick is fouled out of the game with eight points. Only a freshman. Well, there's certainly a nice core to build around here for Munster. I really like the looks of Javon Morris, a six-foot freshman, a smooth shooter. He shot 33% for the year from behind the stripe, 70% from the free throw line, averaged nearly eight points a ball game, certainly something to build upon. DJ's first free throw, and he gets his form back. He's missed five free throws tonight. Came in at 75% on the year. That puts him now at 6 of 11. 
And one more for the 6'4 senior. Came in averaging 26.1 a game. And right now he sits at 23. 63, 46 cards, 252 remaining. Javon Morris brings it up. Deflected by Stubbs, his numerical counterpart. Now a nice job, but a steal by Kuznard. DJ tips it to himself and goes in for the one-handed dunk. Well, he got up quick and put it down hard. Defender, Showtime. The vendor could not catch up to him. 65-46 Cardinals. Manis off the screen from the feed from Maloney. Now DJ back the other way. Beautiful bounce pass to Edwin Wilson and a foul by Manis as he rakes Wilson across the nose. Yeah, another hard foul down at the other end. They're getting their money's worth. Yeah, East Chicago. <laughs> well, you know East Chicago is going to attack the basket hard. You know, it's 65-46 with just over two minutes remaining. Munster certainly doesn't want to give them anything. Still a lot of pride at stake here for both of these ball clubs. And both of these teams have very long and sharp memories. <laughs> Connor Manis will get a nice hand from the Munster crowd. And deservingly so. He finishes with 11 points and finishes his career at Munster with a nice performance out here this evening. Gets hugs all around the bench. You know, the game started turning, I thought, when Connor Manis came to the bench with his two fouls. East Chicago went on a little bit of a run. Coach Hackett put Connor back in the ball game and they were able to get a couple uh, baskets right in a row. But it just uh, let things get out of control. 16 turnovers now on Munster with a timeout in the court, and now Coach Turkovich is going to get some of the youngsters on the bench. Jason Corley is going to get his first action of the season along with Steve Jones. So it'd be nice to have those young men get an opportunity out there on the court. 154 remaining in the ball game, 65 to 46. East Chicago Central with the lead. And Coach and Chris, they're going to improve to 16 and 5 and move on to the semis. Well, also a good move by Coach Turkovich. As you said, no love loss between these two ball clubs. You don't want you know, your starters out there and getting injured in a blowout ball game here late with all you have to play for on Friday and then a potential championship game on Saturday. This Cardinals basketball broadcast is brought to us by the Foundations of East Chicago. They're an organization dedicated to supporting our community on and off the court. To our academic scholarship programs, our grant programs for local charitable institutions and leadership, we here at the Foundations of East Chicago pour our hearts into making a positive impact on our community. For more information, please visit our website, www.foundations-e-c.org. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter at foundations-e-c. So a couple of student athletes in there. Ty Lee Rimmer also into the ball game, and a foul going to be called on Munsters, number 23 into the ball game. We saw Tylee Rimmer fill it up a little bit earlier in the season. So Jason Corley trying to pick up his first point of the season. Bends the knees, and he got it. He'll be able to clip off the box score on this one and show everybody that he, his junior season, got into a sectional champ, uh, quarterfinal game, missed the second one. Cardinals up by 20. 139 left. Not sure who that was, Chris. I do not have a 23. A young man comes in, both aggressive uh, defensively and offensively. He didn't waste any time. 
Nice feed on the play from Steve Jones to Elion Stubbs for the basket. Stubbs now in double digits with 10. We're going to have a two-shot foul coming up here now. <laughs> Nobody wants to stop fouling. <laughs> 112 remaining in the game. 68-48. to 48. Cardinals with the lead. They're going to pick up their 16th win of the season. Canales picks up his eighth point. Munster's only been to the line tonight 12 times. Half of East Chicago Central's total. One minute. One minute remaining in the ball game now. 68-49 Cardinals. Steve Jones, nice shake and bake move up high. He's telling everybody to clear out. Rimmer with a runner off the right side, left it short. Canales the rebound. Well, I know one thing, Chris, as the ball is bounced here to the near side and put up an in by Maloney. You have to go back a long way into the annals to find a Munster team to finish the year under 500. Absolutely. I think 2000, 2001 year. Well, Munster will not be able to repeat as sectional one champions as they had the big upset last year with 51 points from uh, Luke Hackett's older brother, Drew Hackett. Yeah, Drew is here tonight, actually. Five seconds remaining, and the Cardinals are just tripping out with Steve Jones. And the East Chicago Central Cardinals have defeated the Munster Mustangs tonight in this Class 4A Sectional 1 quarterfinal by a score of 68-52. to So East Chicago Central will move to 16-5 and on the season, and the Munster Mustangs will bow out of the 2016 IHSAA Boys Basketball Tournament with a record of 10-14. and We'll take a two-minute timeout. We'll come back. We will uh, take a look at our scoring summaries. We'll name our Centair Bank performers of the game. And we'll take a look ahead to this week's action right here on RRSN.com and Regional Radio Sports. Looking to start a new career at a cutting-edge, exciting, and globally competitive company? Enroll in Steelworker for the Future, a two-and-a-half-year associate degree program offered at select community colleges, and you'll be prepared for a high-paying career at ArcelorMittal, the world's leading steel company. Graduates may be hired as maintenance technicians, earning an average of $90,000 per year, plus benefits. Your future with a leader in steel starts now. Visit steelworkerforthefuture.com today. Score big with a low-rate TCU Visa Platinum credit card that can help you take charge of those long-awaited projects or cover unexpected emergency needs. It not only comes with a low rate, but offers everything you need, including no annual fees, no balance transfer fees, easy cash advances at ATMs, and much more. Don't miss out on a good play. Take charge of those projects and score big with a low-rate TCU Visa Platinum credit card. Learn more and apply today at tcunet.com slash credit cards. This is the camp. This is the real thing now. You've never done anything so hard in your life. You don't understand how you can finish. It takes inner strength and desire to become a Marine. When I, I finished, I was like, I did it. The moment I will never forget is when the drill instructor that I admire so much comes up to me and said, Good morning, Marines. PFC Summer Volkman became a Marine. Can you? Visit Marines.com or call 1-800-MARINES. At Horizon Bank, we're more than just your hometown bank. We're your neighbor. Whether you're ready to get a loan for your next family vacation, that new car you had your eye on, a much-needed renovation, your dream home, or your business, trust the local lenders at Horizon Bank for the loan you need. Local people making local decisions. Visit horizonbank.com. Horizon Bank. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. 
Mike Knezovic, Chris Adzia back with you here to wrap it up. 68-52 to 52 victory for East Chicago Central over Munster. Chris, let's go over the final scoring. Well, it looks this way for East Chicago. They had eight players in the scoring column. Three players in double digits. Damian Jefferson once again led all scorers with 25. Did a great uh, or got to the free throw line quite often. Struggled just a little bit there from the line. But nonetheless, finished the game with 25 points. Jermaine Kuznar pitched in with 12 points. Allianz Stubbs had 10 points. Seven points apiece from Charlie Cleveland and Jamar Adams. Four points from Devontae Jones. And two points from Edwin Wilson. Jason Corley pitched in with a point there late in the game on one of two shooting from the field uh, from the free throw line. East Chicago attempted 29 free throws. They connected on 15 of them only. They had 12 offensive rebounds, turned the ball over nine times. For the Munster Mustangs, they bow out of the year here in the quarterfinals of sectional one. They were led in scoring by Connor Manis. The senior played his last ball game with Munster. He had 11 points. Eight points by Nick Fies, only a freshman. Six point, or nine points from Peter Canellis. Six points apiece from Tommy Maloney and Jason Stribiak. Three points from Javon Morris and two points from Antoine Van Dyke. Munster had five offensive rebounds. Only got to the free throw line 14 times. They connected on 12 of them, and they were 6 of 19, six of 19 from downtown. And I think I missed a couple turnovers. I had them penciled for 13. Yeah, I got him a 16 okay. as we uh, now name our Centier Bank performers of the game. Chris, uh, certainly uh, an obvious one on East Chicago Central's yeah, part. 25 points from Damian Jefferson. We don't have rebounding totals, but he was just a monster on the board, especially on the offensive end. He had a number of the 12 offensive rebounds that East Chicago finished the ball game with. And then on the Munster side, I thought it was Connor Manos. Not only did he lead Munster in scoring with 11 points, but he was the floor general, and he was on Damian Jefferson, giving up a right. lot of size to start the game until he got in foul trouble. So our center bank performers of the game for East Chicago Central, Damian Jefferson with 25 points. Connor Manis finishes his career at Munster with 11 points. So Chris, final thoughts here as we get set to wrap it up. East Chicago Central wins it by 16. So our semifinals are set on Friday as we'll have the uh, Morton Governors uh, in action as they are going to be uh, heading into to the semifinals with that bye. Yeah, Morton uh, will play Lowell. Lowell had a narrow victory against Morton earlier this year. It'll be West Side against East Chicago. Uh, you know, come Saturday, you know, on paper, it looks like we're going to have a, a Lowell East Chicago showdown, but Morton certainly wants to say something about that. And then sectional one action, of course, uh, sectional two action, we have that uh, semi Yeah, that'll well. be Portage with the bye to Friday. They'll take, take on Valparaiso after Valparaiso beat Maryville in overtime last night. Crown Point was a victorious over Michigan City in game one over at Crown Point. Chesterton all over Hobart in game two. That game went final now. 74 to 47. Chesterton beats Hobart. So in game two over at Crown Point, it'll be Crown Point and Chesterton. Great job, Chris. And we want to thank our season sponsors for award winning coverage and positive promotion of student athletes here. They include State Farm Insurance, Arcelor Metal, as well as Scapel Buick GMC in Maryville, Centier Bank, independently owned and operated, the United States Marine Corps, Albert's Diamond Jewelers, the Sheriff of Indiana, along with Teachers Credit Union, Levin Tire, earning your trust one day at a time since 1918. Schwartz Retson and Company PC in Maryville. Horizon Banks, exceptional service and sensible advice. Christensen Chevrolet on 45th and Indianapolis Boulevard in Highland. Tech Federal Credit Union. We also want to thank our corporate partner, the Foundations of East Chicago. Five Funeral Home on Indianapolis Boulevard in East Chicago. Attorney Lonnie Randolph on Columbus Drive in East Chicago. Also special thanks go out to Calumet College of St. Joseph's on the web. CCSJ.edu Auto Masters were right in your neighborhood on Calumet Avenue in Hammond and we also want to thank as well Ogren Insurance on Holman Avenue for his terrific support of Munster Athletics as well. So for Chris Adzia, this is Mike Knezovich saying so long from the John A. Barato Center on the campus of East Chicago Central where East Chicago Central moves to 16-5 and with a 68-52 to win over the Munster Mustangs. God bless America. God bless you all. Have a safe and wonderful evening everybody. So long from the John A. Barato Center in East Chicago.